Kiyochi's answer directly avoids Sakumo's choice itself, but solves the problem from another angle. It's a bit out of Kakashi's expectations, but he thought about it for a while. Why did Shuo Mao face a choice? Because the village is not strong enough, there are not many Jonin who can perform that task. If the number and quality of Jonin are improved, many problems will be solved. Educate the village. Kakashi didn't think about this at all. He thought that education was education and nothing else. After listening to it, he realized that there are so many twists and turns in it. Is this the world of Jonin? Too difficult. If you want to strengthen a village, you need more than education. Many outlying villages went to Konoha and thought it was education to revitalize the village, but all of them went back lame. Taught to be smart and able to understand for himself, Kiyochi is willing to say more. Otherwise, it will take a long time to explain, which is really troublesome. Talking. He gave a general overview of the situation in the outer village. To put it simply, the orders for other villages to buy Bingliang pills from us have increased many times during this period, and many of the materials are also from our side. Kakashi was taken aback when he heard this, and then pondered for a long time. Materials, Bingliang pills. These can bring a lot of benefits, and the latter is also a consumable thing, there is no such thing as buying it once and then using it later. Unless Waikin develops its own cheap Bingliang Wan, it is impossible to replace Konoha's Bingliang Wan for export. Kakashi also knows the nearest Binglongmaru in the village. Because that kind of military food pill is also popular in the village, it restores less physical fitness, but it is cheaper and applicable to more places, in terms of schools. Where some children need full Bingliang pills to recover. The effect is just bad. So, he immediately understood what Kiyochi meant. If the village wants to be strong, what it needs is not just education, but all-round improvement. How can there be education without strong ninjutsu and taijutsu? How powerful without Bingliang Wan? Governing a village requires more wisdom than simply completing tasks. He was a little ashamed. In the past, my mind was full of tasks, and my thinking was not flexible at all. No wonder Mr. Kiyochi always said that he was a dead brain. Okay, you think about it, Minato and I are very happy. After you go back, you can practice more. In a year or two at most, you will be able to become a Jonin. Kiyochi smiled. Kakashi's strength is not a problem. After practicing Chidori Daojutsu, Chidori Ryu, and Rai Dao's matching ninja, his strength has improved rapidly, and he has reached the threshold for performing Jonin tasks. What's worse is the thinking level. When Kakashi becomes Jonin, and a new representative of geniuses appears, who will follow up? Perfect. Kakashi was very excited to hear, Jonin, and was very excited, but immediately. I thought it was a cake again. Within a year or two, is it one year, or two years? Good question. But. Although I understand this truth, I am still a little excited when I hear that I can become a Jonin. Okay. After chatting with you for so long, it's time for me to catch someone. Kiyochi stood up. Kakuzu seems to have settled down after running for so long. Time to get him back. Can I go? Relax, it's not that I won't take you with me, but I'm the Flying Thunder God, and it's more difficult to take you with me. Come on, kid. Learn to flying thunder god, and you can do the same with me. You are not complete either. Long distance teleportation also has separate assistance. Kakashi couldn't complain from the bottom of his heart. But flying thunder god does work. Damn, sour. He watched Kiyochi disappear, and the next moment, Kakashi sensed that Minato outside also disappeared without a trace. Both teachers went. It should be stable, right? Complete the faith guidance. Kakashi has complete trust in you and regards you as a life mentor. Evaluation. Excellent. Award. 1. Rakery. 2. Zidian choose one of the two rewards. Without hesitation, Kiyochi chose the second one instantly. Rakery is an advanced version of Chidori, to be frank. If he wants to do research, he can do it easily, without wasting precious opportunities for rewards. It's the second kind. Purple electricity. In terms of penetration and power, it is definitely not as good as the serious Rakery. But. It is more applicable. No need for high speed movement, no need for sharing an assistance, anyone can master this powerful lightning style ninjutsu as long as they can learn it. Certainly. The most important thing is. It does not require seals. The ninjutsu of seals is too troublesome. Kiyochi's current jutsu basically does not require seals. Jutsu such as Rakuri and Chidori require seals but are not strong enough for him to seal them. It's really useless. Violet is fine. Certainly. Since he wanted Flying Thunder God to find Kakuzu, after receiving it, Kiyochi didn't understand it in detail, but only roughly understood the usage and principle of the Genin technique. Next second. He Flying Thunder God to Kakuzu's side. Kakuzu is in a dark underground base, besides him, 
There are only some odd jobs and a few people who just arrive. Mr. Kakuzu. I need an explanation, why your people don't come every time, this time we agreed that you will take part in killing Kyochi together, but in the end, it's only us. Make them mess up every time, the results of it? The people behind did not come out to rescue people once, and they went to Kyochi every time, and they were sent to death every time. Kakuzu had a fierce look in his eyes, if he doesn't give a reasonable answer, he will kill these people and leave. Anyway. Everyone is only together because of interests, not real companions, not to mention that he hasn't killed real companions before, so it's no big deal. We were going to send three tails Jinchuriki, but that guy Kyochi Kanda attacked Kirigakir directly, which we didn't expect. Oh? Kakuzu's eye twitched. Raid on Kirigakir? That guy is so fierce, he didn't believe it. But. This kind of thing can't be hidden for long. Kakuzu was silent for a moment, and then said, I will verify it, if not, you will pay the price for betrayal, you know, I have lost an important partner. Certainly, White Zetsu bowed slightly, and was about to echo a few words when he sensed a wave in the space. He immediately knew something was wrong, turned around and ran away. However, the next moment, a golden light flashed, and Namikaze Minato, who came over instantly, appeared beside him in an instant, kicking him into the air, separating White Zetsu from the ground. Minato formed a seal with both hands, and when White Zetsu landed, the seal was completed. Seal of four elephants, town, the other side. Kyochi looked at Kakuzu, and at the same time used chakra perception to check the surrounding situation. There were many ninjas in the whole base, some of them were rebels from Kirigakir. Visible, Madara has ruled Kirigakir these years, and has often poached corners from Kirigakir. At the same time, he is looking for traces of Uchiha, but unfortunately, since the other party does not use Sharingan, it is difficult to identify the identity simply by chakra. Although I didn't hear everything, Scorpion doesn't seem to be an important partner to you. You. Kakuzu panicked. Kyochi, how is he here, the other is Namikaze Minato. Could it be that, he quickly recalled it in his mind, and then his face turned pale. When did you put me under the spell? You guess. When was it the first time? Kakuzu took a deep breath, fully understanding the situation in his mind. I was able to run away, not because these two people couldn't catch up, but because they didn't even bother to chase. From the very beginning, he was a fish in a net. Even so, you don't think he'll be caught without a fight, do you? No difference. Kyochi yawned. Here we still have to make a quick decision. After the fight, the others ran away as soon as they heard the movement. Although he had already allocated a wood clone to catch people, there will still be fish that slip through the net after a long time. At that time, arresting people is still troublesome. The next moment, he put his hand on Kakuzu. Kakuzu has also fought against Kyochi several times, and he deeply understands how terrible this person is. As long as he is close to him, he is basically not too far away from death. So. The moment Kyochi approached, his body split instantly, countless blood vessels fluttered and attacked all around, and at the same time, lightning and water splashed out together. One of Kakuzu's strengths is ninjutsu coverage. He knew that Kyochi had mastered a lot of Muji defensive ninjutsu. Ordinary attacks would not pose any threat to Kyochi at all, and he was very familiar with that move. Earth Spear. Kakuzu used to be too, until later. He met Kyochi Kanda, opened the Earth Spear in front of Kyochi, and was stabbed by the Earth Style Mask. Although I changed to an Earth Style Mask, that mask didn't have Earth Spear ninjutsu, but only a beggar's version of hardening jutsu. The effect difference between the two is not the slightest. Lightning Style, Water Style Compound Ninjutsu, can completely restrain Earth Spears. After using ninjutsu, according to Kakuzu's expectations, Kyochi must avoid the range of ninjutsu, pull it before attacking, and use ninjutsu to resist no matter how bad it is. But. He was disappointed. Kyochi didn't know his ninjutsu at all, a thick ice armor appeared all over his body, and more than that. These waters suddenly spun wildly. The liquid condenses and turns into a giant Uzumaki body. Kakuzu's expression changed. What kind of technique is this? Where would he have thought that there would be such a change, he immediately cut off all the blood vessels over there, and then quickly retreated without a second. The blood vessels in the water polo were all crushed. Not only that. In the next second, another figure appeared behind him, and a strange ninjutsu hit him, and severe pain came from behind. His mask saw the enemy, Namikaze Minato. But. This is just the beginning. The next second, he saw a knife go through his chest, and at the same time, Namikaze Minato burst out from the front, and another Rasengan hit the mosque's face. Kara. Two sounds in succession. Two masks shattered, leaving only three masks on Kakuzu's body in an instant. What made him most desperate was. 
The two people in front of them are simply bullying people. They were clearly behind them just now, but they were in front in the next second. How can there be such an ninjutsu? But, Kakuzu only has three masks left, earth, fire, and wind. No printing required. Flames spewed from his shoulders, and gusts of wind spewed from the other. Fire style head hard, wind style oppression. The surging flames filled the entire basement, and there was hardly a safe gap. For Minato, such a large-scale ninjutsu was almost impossible to avoid. He was about to use the flying thunder god to avoid it, when a wall of earth emerged from around him, directly isolating him from the outside world. Next second. Minato heard a rush of water outside. Kiyochi makes a mudra with both hands. Kakuzu was about to dive into the earth, only to find that the land around him was covered with a special chakra, preventing him from escaping into the earth. I was planning to change places and escape, result. The water rushed over. Although the strong wind and flames are strong, how can they withstand the surging water in this narrow space? Water style big explosion water rush. The water spread out, directly centering on the underground base, forming a huge water prison. Kakuzu counters with a blood vessel and water style escapes. However, soon, vines grew in the water and blocked him. Not only that, the two approached again. Damn, it's flying thunder god again. Kakuzu went crazy, chakra surged all over his body, and blood vessels grew wildly. Minato had to get the flying thunder god out of the way to avoid being attacked. But, Kiyochi wasn't used to him. The knife with lightning style chakra pierced through Kakuzu's heart again. Although Kakuzu's body can be repaired with Earth Resentment's ability, and his heart can be replaced with remaining hearts, the problem is that he only has three hearts left. To be precise, the heart belonging to Earth was stabbed by Kiyochi lightning style, leaving only the heart of fire and wind. He is in a hurry now. Killed twice more, he was completely dead, and what frightened him the most was that Kakuzu couldn't even think of the possibility of escaping. Earth style? The heart of the soil is gone. Although wind style and fire style are strong in combat, they have no effect at all under the influence of the ninjutsu of Big Bang Water Shockwave. If you want to escape, I'm afraid. Only begging for mercy. But, under the water, there is no way to speak. Kakuzu panicked. For the first time in so many years, he really felt the threat of death. Although he played against first generation, Senju Hashirama didn't mean to kill him, so he didn't feel too desperate. It's different now. Kanda Kiyochi is really going to kill him. Namikaze Minato has slipped away. From the moment Kiyochi releases the big explosion water wave, this has nothing to do with him. After all, the ninjutsu he is good at is not very effective underwater. Rather than wasting time and manpower here, go out to the perimeter and capture those fleeing Kakuzu henchmen. Maybe I can catch a few important ones. Kakuzu is desperate, surrendering to nowhere. At last, he went crazy, and the blood vessels in his body dilated wildly. This was already beyond his limit, but he didn't care, instead of being stabbed to death by Kiyochi, it would be better to fight back happily, pull one enough money, and kill two without loss. The strangeness of Earth Resentment Yu can be manifested at this moment. He wasn't human at all, more like some unnameable thing from Kiyochi's previous life, with tentacles dancing wildly in the water and attacking Kiyochi's side. However, just don't break the defense. Rishi Chakra added Earth Spear, and Kakuzu lost Lightning Style Heart, which would be a ghost if it can break the defense. Although there are many tentacles, Kiyochi can't help it. On the contrary, it's very easy for Kiyochi to kill him. Water Style Heaven Cries The highly compressed Water Style Chakra turned into a jet of water sharper than a sword, directly cutting apart all the tentacles in front of him, pointing directly at the heart. Heart of Fire, broken. At this moment, Kakuzu is not afraid anymore. Because he has gone completely crazy, his body has almost collapsed, at this point, even if Kiyochi stops, he can no longer survive. The forbidden technique is the forbidden technique because it has a price. His current state has exceeded the limit of earth resentment, even if Kiyochi doesn't kill him, these blood vessels can no longer be combined into a complete body. In the end, the only thing waiting for Kakuzu is death. This is an ninjutsu of mutual destruction, however. Sadly, the jutsu of mutual perdition often doesn't work. As if now, Kakuzu still couldn't break the defense, and Kiyochi just needed another water jet to kill him easily. But. He stopped. There are many secrets in Kakuzu, which he has to dig out. For example. Why did he and Scorpion come together with Madara? Even if the information is not of much use, it can be used as a bargaining chip to pull other ninja villages into the car, not to mention selling it to Taki Ninja Village may be exchanged for a lot of supplies. What can I get if I kill it directly? Nothing. And. Kiyochi doesn't want Kakuzu to return to Taki Shinobi village intact and alive, 
so that Taki Ninja Village gets the secret of resentment, maybe there will be a second one. The current Kakuzu is just right. Crazy and indescribable, no one can get any information from him except the Yamanaka clan. Think here. Kiyochi pulled out the scroll and made a mudra with both hands. Four elephant seals. Chakra was sealed, and the blood vessels on Kakuzu's body were forcibly cut off by Kiyochi, leaving only the human form. But honestly, I can no longer see the human appearance. Done. Although Kakuzu resisted, there was only one heart left, and there was not much left in Chakra. Even if he resisted, there was no way to be more violent. It was nothing more than some fire style ninjutsu. But, with the ice armor on his body, Kiyochi couldn't resist a little flame. The defense buff is full, who can hurt me? Kakuzu was about to die of anger. He once again realized how uncomfortable it is to face an enemy with full defenses, and the key is that the opponent's attack methods are still very powerful. Do not, to be precise, there is no area where Kanda Kiyochi is not strong. Ninjutsu, swordsmanship, illusion, defensive ninjutsu. Why is there such a guy? He couldn't understand it, and couldn't accept it. How could there be such a guy in the world, however? Now Kakuzu has no way to protest, his chakra is sealed, and he is also wrapped in pieces of paper, just like a scorpion. Now. Really can be a partner. With Kakuzu taken care of, Kyochi probes with chakra senses. There are still a lot of guys trapped in the ninjutsu of the big explosion, and it happened to be cleaned up together. With his current water style attainments, he can control other people's water style ninjutsu, let alone just control his own water style to send those people over. The water began to surge in the water prison. Not for a while. The people trapped in the water had already reached the periphery, but they watched themselves being swept away by the torrent and pushed to the depths of the water prison step by step. How desperate. Kiyochi's current ability, not to mention the king among water style, is not far behind. He's just too lazy to take the initiative. The surging torrent brought them one by one. Not every ninja can hold his breath for that long. Some of them passed out after drinking a lot of water in the water dungeon, and only a small part of them were still awake when they were sent to them, but. Seeing Kanda Kiyochi, they also fainted instantly. These people have met Kiyochi. The reason is simple. They are Uchiha people, however. What is more tragic is that not every Uchiha is qualified to be Madara's men, and these people are obviously not qualified. Some of them are missing an eye, and some are even blind. Blind. Naturally they won't faint, after all they can't see themselves. Kiyochi was silent for a moment, then dispersed the water from the area, leaving a small space without water. It seems that your life is not good. Tell me, you betrayed the village and the family. What happened here? Kiyochi's tone seemed to be chatty. These people are Uchiha Yuki's subordinates, and they are all on the missing list. Everyone remained silent. Finally, a blinding opening. Are you Lord Kiyochi? We, alas, we were brought to the land of water after we left the land of fire. At first they were quite friendly, but then they began to experiment with us. His tone was very indifferent, as if he was talking about things that had nothing to do with him, without any emotional fluctuations. Not because I looked away, but, he was numb with despair. If I remember correctly, your name should be Uchiha Kazuya, and you have a younger brother named Uchiha Hasaku, so, where is your younger brother? Kiyochi looked carefully and vaguely remembered the person's name. I don't know, he was ordered to gouge out my eyes, and I never saw him again. I don't know where he is, but he shouldn't be here. Uchiha and also said. Kiyochi nodded lightly, probably understanding what Madara was doing in his heart. Stimulate them and see if you can generate a stronger Sharingan. The means are cruel. Except for them, the rest of the people here should be some researchers from Kirigakir, probably brainwashed by third Mizukage, thinking that they are doing research for the village. As everyone knows, the boss behind their research is Uchiha Madara. Kiyochi thought about this, and couldn't help sighing. Obviously, Madara didn't really treat these people as his tribe. His tribe had all died when he decided to leave Konoha, but no one followed him. Changed him. In fact, it is almost the same. This group of people is capricious. They didn't go with them back then, and now Konoha treats them badly, and they want to betray the village and leave Konoha. No one will like grass on the wall. In particular, there is no foolishness. What Madara needs is not the Uchiha clan, but a Uchiha genius who can awaken Mangekyo, and Kyochi isn't sure if such an experiment will produce Mangekyo, but. What Madara is doing now makes his rebirth a bit urgent. Must speed up. Otherwise, once Madara really fiddles with one or two Uchiha clans of Mangekyo, it will be very difficult to kill them. Madara with Mangekyo is completely different from Madara without Mangekyo. Kiyochi took a deep breath. Master Kiyochi. I will take you back to Konoha, it is not my business to deal with it later. 
Yes, thank you Lord Kiyochi, they don't expect forgiveness. I just hope that I will not suffer such pain again, being studied over and over again like a beast, without any respect in the treatment that people deserve. Even if he died in the clan, he would have more dignity than now. At this time, Minato flying Thunder God this way. Of course, it's just a doppelganger, he came to see how Kiyochi was doing. But, seeing the miserable Uchiha people everywhere, he opened his mouth and was speechless for a moment. This, Madara is trying to make Sharingan, not all of them here, I suspect that in another base, there may be other Uchiha clan, undergoing experiments with different plans, the end goal is the same. Wait. You mentioned Madara? Uchiha Kazuya spoke suddenly, with an unbelievable tone. Others also glanced over. This group of people is miserable now, Kyochi is not interested in mocking them, just nodded lightly and said, Yes, according to the available information, we suspect that the man behind the scenes is Uchiha Madara who seemed to have died in the Valley of the End. How can that be? Uchiha and he are also a little unbelievable, and even more of a sense of collapse of belief. At the moment, the mood is chaotic and crazy, and Kyochi even doubts. If he had eyes, he might be Mangekyo by now, certainly. This is just Kyochi's conjecture. What if the upper limit is extremely high like some people, and the extermination of the clan is only a hook? People's bodies are different. All the Uchihas over here, are crazy to hear this. The Uchiha line worships Madara very much, they enshrined Madara as a god. However, now, the gods reward them in this way. Torment, pain. You may not believe it, but this is a fact based on the current intelligence. Well, you are not qualified to know more, and I don't need to explain it to you. Kiyochi said flatly. Minato looked at this scene with complicated emotions. These people, hateful and pitiful. Kiyochi observed secretly, he noticed that there were indeed one or two advances. Two of them have only one eye left, and this single eye has changed from the original two go jade to the three go jade. As for more, obviously, they didn't believe it. After hearing this, Namikaze Minato fell into deep thought. As Kiyochi said, Madara tortured these people with different plans, definitely hoping to achieve some purpose, listening to Kiyochi's hint. Could it be that? He thought of Uchiha a legend. Mangekyo Sharingan. Kiyochi. Well, that's right, it's that kind of eyes. If Madara artificially creates that kind of eyes, no matter how weak the ability is, it will be very troublesome for us. Even though Kiyochi is now very strong, he still has no confidence in defeating Uchiha Madara who possesses Mangekyo. It is precisely because he understands Madara's strength that he understands the gap between them. Now he dares to look for Madara everywhere because he knows that Madara has no Mangekyo now. If only there were Rinnegans, farewell. Then how to play? Although Kiyochi has a sage mode that can damage Uchiha Madara clones in the wheelgrave state, hurt too, does not mean defeat. In addition, Rinnegan doesn't only have the ability to turn tombs. Absorption, gravity, etc. are very terrifying abilities, and these abilities can be used 100% in the hands of people like Madara. Therefore, after knowing Madara's plan, Kiyochi felt that the matter over Nagato should be put on the agenda as soon as possible, otherwise once Uchiha Madara and Black Zetsu go to capture Nagato. It's too late. Nagato is not without weaknesses. Not to mention whether Uchiha Madara has left behind Nagato, even if not, as long as Madara and Black Zetsu can control either Conan or Yahiko, he will obediently obey. In the anime, wasn't his lower body blown because of this? So, Nagato's problem really needs to be solved properly. Although his relationship with Yahiko has always been good, Rinnegan is more sensitive after all. To be honest, he said that he would be able to persuade Nagato to cooperate without a full grasp of the opportunity. But, even if you are not sure, you have to do it. Kiyochi looked at the Uchiha tribe, and frowned slightly. It's easy to catch them. How to bring it back is the problem. Uchiha's eyes, there is no one who is not greedy. Now that there are such a large number of disabled people here, and they are all rebellious, it is impossible to cooperate with them to go back obediently. Too easy to get stolen. Kiyochi rubbed his temples. Senior Bayun, have they arrived? Should, soon. Minato wasn't sure. Although he and Baya Yunzao were together when they left the village, after they left the village, he was worried that there would be accidents on Kiyochi's side, so he rushed here without stopping. So, now he is not very sure about Bayun's itinerary in the morning. Kiyochi looked at them, looked down at the sealed Kakuzu in his hand, and suddenly had a headache, he had to go to Kirigakure to discuss the problem of dealing with Uchiha Madara together later, what to do with these burdens. He thought hard, and then his eyes lit up. Do you have toads that can swallow a lot of people at Mount Myoboku? Let them help transport it. I called you brother, you go to Mount Myoboku and call someone, don't let me go. Minato shook his head immediately after hearing this. 
It's not that he doesn't cooperate. What kind of toads are those on Mount Myoboku? For the older generation, it is impossible for them to swallow so many escorts, and it will be troublesome if they get stuck accidentally. Young generation, as far as Mr. Wen's personality is concerned, why don't you swallow him in and sneak around first? Other small. That can't be swallowed. Minato thought about it, and felt that Kyochi's idea was really stinky. You toads really have a bad temper, Kyochi sighed. Katsuyu is better, as a fairy, he has no airs at all, he will come and go when he is called, and let him help to convey a word with sincerity and no complaints. If Katsuyu could carry out such a task, he would have brought Katsuyu summoning out, the problem is that Katsuyu's body is full of acid. Even if it is intentionally controlled by itself, a creature with self-healing ability like White Zetsu will not be corroded and digested, but these Uchiha people will definitely not be able to bear it. My lord, you. What are you worried about? Uchiha and also tentatively. His eyes are gone, and he can't see anything. At the same time, his hearing has become much stronger due to the recent unknowing exercise. The conversation between Kyochi and Minato obviously has other meanings. It's nothing, I'm just worried that you will run away. I'm thinking whether to kill you directly. Anyway, a group of rebels will die if they are brought back. Kyochi's tone was indifferent. It's not a threat, it's the truth. I can't help it. Then just kill them all. The general way to deal with rebellious ninja is to kill and take the corpse back instead of bringing a living one back to Konoha. The only troublesome thing is their eye problem. It's up to Uchiha to believe it or not, certainly. It doesn't matter if you don't believe it, Kyochi is not afraid if Fugaku doesn't believe it, if that guy wants to do something, the whole Uchiha will suffer in the end. For Konoha. What's the disadvantage? A group of people who have topped the Tianzhen Guyu can't pose a big threat to Konoha at all. Don't. My lord, spare your life, we, we are also forced. Yes, we just thought. We just listened to the slander and were manipulated later, so we had no choice but to leave Konoha, otherwise we would not have betrayed the village. They quickly explained and begged for mercy, I was finally rescued. I thought I could survive, but Kyochi was more direct, and was already thinking about how to kill them. At this time, they also reacted. I'm not a Konoha shinobi, but a traitor. When I met Kyochi and Namikaze Minato, there was nothing good to eat. But the problem is, there is no escape. There are too many of you, it's not easy to take along. Kyochi looked troubled. No, no. My lord, you were joking. In our state, fleeing outside is not a dead end. Rather than that, it is better to return to the village and die, at least you can die at home. Uchiha and also sighed, he really sees it through. Without the blessing of the family in the village, and if one's own strength is not enough, Uchiha's food is a sweet potato outside, and everyone wants to come up and take a bite. Just like the Uzumaki clan these years, it's hard for me to trust you guys. Kyochi said, winking at Minato. Minato didn't react at first, but quickly thought of what Kyochi meant, and suggested, why don't we engrave the flying thunder god spell on them, so that we can perceive them as soon as they escape, and it won't take much effort to catch them back. This idea. Okay, although it's a little troublesome, but it's the only way for now. Kyochi sighs. The people in Uchiha looked at each other, and finally nodded with a forced smile. Flying Thunder God. They have naturally heard of this technique. It is said that Uchiha Izuna died under Senju Tobarama's Flying Thunder God Slash, and Minato used this technique to shine in the Ninja War. After being imprinted with the Flying Thunder God formula, it is really impossible to escape. You won't resist, will you? No, no, how could it be? When they saw Kyochi's smile, they couldn't help but shudder. It's obviously a smile, but they always feel that as long as they answer, no, the other party's knife will stab them the next moment. No one wants to die. In particular, the actions of Kanda Kyochi seem to mean that returning to the village may not necessarily kill them. This makes them more fanciful, certainly. In fact, Kyochi really didn't want to kill them. What a waste to kill. Although these people are either completely blind or half blind, all of them are Uchiha ninjas with good strength. Even if they can't be used as research materials, they can be used as free labor and chakra reserves. As for wasting food, the most important thing in Konoha now is food, but many relatively hidden research fortifications are short of manpower. One more small promise, with sincerity and good performance, the mark of rebellion will be cancelled for many years. Not sure, they will also sincerely help with work. Rebellion is rebellion. Especially for this group of Uchiha, no matter how they have so-called difficulties, it is a fact that they betrayed the village and caused huge losses to the village and the family. No matter how miserable, I still have to work when I get back. The difference is that for their injuries, Konoha will definitely perform humanitarian treatment and will not let them work with their injuries. Certainly. 
The eyes are spared. Uchiha's eyes are quite special, and now their eyes are probably all on Uchiha Madara's side, and it is impossible to get them back, let alone treat them. So. Don't expect their eyes to recover. On the way back, these people really didn't cause much trouble, but Kyochi couldn't help but feel a little worried. Madara got so many eyes. Even if all of them are three go jade from the bad street, it is still a very scary thing. This means that Madara has plenty of eyes to replace and can use Izanagi with recklessness, after all. Madara's recovery ability has achieved plug and play. In a real fight, Izanagi's effect is more disgusting than Kakuzu's heart. This is also the scary thing about Sharingan. Really fight. Even without Rinnegan and Mangekyo's Uchiha Madara, it's still too powerful to be feared. Worthy of being a ninja legend, Kyochi sighed deeply. Fortunately, Madara did not get the power of Kagaya G. If he had the level of strength of Otsutsuki Kagaya, even with Naruto, Sasuke, and Sage of Six Paths who secretly helped, it would probably be enough to wipe out the entire ninja world. After all, although there is no difference in hard power, they are all Kagaya templates, but in terms of combat ability and strength utilization, Madara has almost crushed Kagaya G on several levels. Kagaya Heim kind of fighting. It can't be said that there is no skill, it can only be said that it is completely crushing the opponent with strength. If you can't crush it, you won't play it. This is not being a keyboard warrior, but Kyochi has experienced ninjutsu creation and practice, and he feels more and more like this. This also counts. Fortunately in misfortune? Kyochi wondered. This base is located in the east of the country of water, and it will take a lot of time to get back to Shisui and the others across the country of water. But. In the current situation, there is no other way but to cross. Of course the flying thunder god can pass in an instant. But even if Kyochi and Namikaze Minato are united, it is impossible to send so many Uchiha tribes there, with such ability. Wouldn't it be better to teleport directly to Konoha? Kyochi sent a message to Shisui and the others while walking, so as not to worry over there. After all, it will take at least half a day here before returning to the other side. Shisui received the message. Shisui, what did the teacher say? Yuhihong was a little nervous. Before the teacher left, they experienced being attacked by a strong man once, so don't make any trouble this time. Kakashi is still injured. Oh, it's nothing, the teacher said he's done everything there, but it's more troublesome to come back, because I brought some people, so I can't use Flying Thunder God. Shisui was lost in thought when he said this. With some people? Obviously. Certainly not pure enemies. If it is a simple enemy, the teacher usually kills it or turns it into a half mutilated one and seals it directly. This is the case with scorpions. Such a situation will occur. He thought of the teacher's previous guess. The clansmen who defected from Uchiha probably went to the land of water. Could it be that? Shisui thought it was possible. If you really meet the people of Uchiha, it is the best choice to really bring them back. Otherwise, God knows what the people in the shadows or the idiots in the village will say. Although the teacher doesn't care, it's always a waste of time to argue with idiots. Thinking of his family, he felt a little helpless. Uchiha is really sucks. Especially under the leadership of Fugaku, they don't have the courage and vision that a wealthy family should have. They care about small interests, and they refuse to sacrifice for big ones. How can such a big thing be done? But, fortunately, no one noticed this. Daohuo has now almost become the actual controller of the new generation. Joining Anbu brought his prestige in the family to a higher level, and the information he brought back made the family pay more attention to him. But, in fact, Inahura has been in touch with Shisui all the time, and often asks Shisui secretly for advice, and is also sincerely convinced by Shisui. If Daohuo takes over, Shisui is confident to make some changes to the family. Certainly, he knows better. It is inseparable from the support of the teacher that Daohuo can go to the present. Shisui was thinking wildly in his mind, and his thoughts had long deviated from the initial simple battle report. Kakashi sneaked a few glances from the side, then. He pondered for a moment and said, Sensei, they must have captured Kakuzu's accomplices, right? Sorry, I was distracted just now. If my guess is correct, I may have found the missing Uchiha Renren, but I didn't write how many teachers were found. Shisui answered quickly. Kakashi was startled when he heard that. Uchiha Rebellion? That's really, it takes a while. Let's just wait here. There should be no more attacks now, but we can't let our guard down. Um. There are Kyochi's Wood Clone and Namikaze Minato's Shadow Clone here. There is no need to worry about ordinary situations. The only thing to worry about is that there are strong players like Kakuzu and Scorpion coming. But. A ninja of this level is not a Chinese cabbage. In fact, there are not many ninjas with the strength of Kakuzu and Scorpion in the entire ninja world. 
If a village can have one, it will be a high incense, and the reason why Konoha's younger generation is scrupulous. It is because there are two ninjas of the same level as Kyochi and Minato at the same time. Not to mention, going up in age, Konoha also has Sanin and third Hokage. At present, in terms of high end ninja strength, Konoha is the strongest among the five major villages. Even Rock Shinobi Village cannot compare with Kanoba. However, they don't know that the current enemy is not Waiken, but Uchiha Madara, deep underground. Black Zetsu came back from outside and found Uchiha Madara again. They followed Kakuzu to our research base, which has now been destroyed, and all the Uchiha subjects in the stronghold have been taken away. Don't panic. Madara smiled faintly, this kind of thing. He had long thought of such a possibility. That kid is a genius. Those people are nothing to worry about. They are all guys with very low bloodlines and potential. They are unlikely to have the possibility of opening their eyes, but a few of our other strongholds have not opened their eyes either. Black Zetsu felt helpless. This guy Madara always wanders around the garden, but now the other party is left to find their lair, and they are still so leisurely. Really treat him as an immortal avatar, but it's hard for a clever woman to cook without rice. Madara really has all the money in his hands, and even he has a hard time controlling the situation. Mangekio is not so easy to get out. Although preventing them from realizing the torture of the destination will increase the possibility of their awakening, it is only in theory, and hasn't the power of those pupils increased significantly. There is only one opportunity left that's all. Madara didn't care as much as Black Zetsu. These clansmen originally worshipped him. During this time, he has been letting Black Zetsu brainwash them, and wait for a while. He will tell them who he is, until then. Even if Mangekio Sharingan does not appear, one or two extremely powerful eyes is definitely possible. Although the use of that kind of eyes is very reluctant, it is also enough to open part of Suzano's power, unlike the current one that can't do anything. Black Zetsu was speechless after hearing this. He gets it. This guy is now so preoccupied with fighting Kyochi that he doesn't even think about the possibility of Black Zetsu resurrecting him after he dies. I don't know if it's good to say that this guy trusts me enough. Or is it that this guy has no brains? Black Zetsu and him are not in the same way, it is difficult to have a common language, and they are not worried about the same thing, but he can't say anything more. I could only sigh and said, although you have a backhand on Nagato, who knows exactly who Kanda Kyochi is, I still feel prepared. Well, I understand what you mean, I will leave you a good seedling. You know a hammer. The Uchiha family. On the way back, on the way back, the Ghost Lantern Thousand Views team came together and just found Kyochi and Namikaze Minato escorting a dozen Uchiha clan to the West Blue Shore. And. Those Uchiha people seem to be all wounded. They looked at each other. What's the situation? Could it be that Kanda Kyochi came here for this group of Uchiha people? But. It doesn't make sense, there are more than a dozen Uchiha people, and each of them seems to be injured. Terumi Mei felt extremely confused. What the hell is going on with Konoha? A pair of Uchiha tribesmen disappeared. It is impossible to find and find their whereabouts until now, right? Wrong. Why are these Uchiha people in the land of water? She thought of more critical issues. Ghost Lantern Chinjing didn't answer and kept silent. Obviously, he didn't know exactly what was going on, but it was predictable that. While they were observing Kyochi, the other party must have been observing them, and Kyochi might have spotted a few of them before them. Hiding and hiding, I'm afraid it's better to go out and say hello. Think here. Ghost Light Chikage took a deep breath, walked out from the dark place, forced a smirk at Kanda Kyochi and said, Master Kyochi, I didn't expect to meet you again, is this? My Anbu team, alas. When I arrived, they were tortured badly by the goddamn Bryuhu. Uchiha when Anbu? You see I believe it or not. Ghost Lantern Chinjing complained from the bottom of her heart. Kirigakir's understanding of Konoha is not very deep, but there are some basics. For example, Konoha's Hokage faction and Uchiha's faction have always been difficult to deal with. Uchiha holds the guard in his hands, but that kind of post is held by a family, and sooner or later something will happen, and if they are given the authority of Anbu, then Uchiha has the final say on the village? Ghost Lantern Chinjing was silent for a few seconds. At last, he decided to be an idiot. Then Kyochi Sama caught Beiruhu. This kind of guy who hunts blood successor limit ninjas is also a huge threat to our water country. It's a pity to let him go. Kyochi smiled when he said this, and signaled to Minato to take the others to go forward for a while, and there is no need to wait for him to join him, since Chikage Ghost Lamp doesn't have the guts to do it anyway. I really have to do it. These few people, he can kill them all with one hand. Anyway, the vast majority of ninjutsu do not require seals. Ghost Lamp Chikage is not sure whether Kyochi is telling the truth or lying, 
and even can't figure out whether the Heliu who mentioned by this guy is really a real person or just talking nonsense here. Hard to say. But, the Uchiha group is very strange, that's for sure, he wondered if something went wrong inside Konoha. Danzo sold a group of Uchiha to the country of water. After all, some time ago, I heard that Konoha tried Danzo and executed Danzo in front of the villagers of the whole village. Could it be because he trafficked Uchiha people? Hiss. If this is the case, then Danzo is too deadly, right? Ghost Lantern Chikage's mind has been completely free, where can she let her thoughts run wild? The more she thinks about it, the more panicked she feels, for fear that Kyochi is staying to silence her. But actually, he was thinking too much, Kyochi just patted his shoulder lightly. Okay, there's not much to talk about here, you go back to the village, and the compensation will be settled with your village later, remember the promise made by the Kingdom of Waves? If you renege on the debt, I will come to you. No, no, I will definitely remember, Ghost Lantern Chikage remembered. I was in the Land of Waves, and I was caught by Kyochi Kanda, and I am still in debt. Numb. Kyochi was too kind before, which made him have the illusion that he might have misunderstood Kyochi, and now he sees that he is indeed misunderstood. Kyochi sensed it. Minato had already led the others away, he waved his hand, and Flying Thunder God followed them. But. It is said in the Eight Classics. At this moment, Madara's rule over the country of water is relatively restrained. Although many operations will confuse Kirigakure, most of the instructions are in line with the rules and procedures for governing the village. In contrast to Obito, now that he was forced to come on stage, he didn't follow the routine at all, and the words were filled with the purpose of killing you. So, there are basically no bandits or wandering ninjas in the current water country, and even if there is a high probability, Kirigakure is pretending. And now, it is clear, Kirigakure has no ability to control what Kyochi and Namikaze Minato are doing. They can't take care of themselves. The situation in the village was something that none of the one-in had expected, especially the appalling thing that third Mizukage was manipulated by others. Someone said that before, and they definitely gave each other a slap in the face. But now. I'm sorry, what I said is the truth, I still kindly remind. Not only can't you turn your face, but you have to send money to others as a thank you. So. Master Yuan felt very uncomfortable. Although he has now convinced the people in the village and third Mizukage is out of danger, he has to think about another problem. What about the remuneration from Kyochi? That kid Konoha has a big appetite, if he loses it, I'm afraid something will happen on Kirigakure's side. But. Give too much. He himself feels distressed and uncomfortable, and it is impossible to do that. Think before and after, he still gritted his teeth. This wave has to be cut. Although Kirigakure's current situation is not good, the money is still available. Otherwise we will really have to wait for Konoha to help them choose the fourth Mizukage. Then the face and face will be lost, so. Why don't you take the initiative to come to the door, talk to Kyochi, and find out what he thinks and wants before this kid leaves. You can't want nothing, let them just leave it here and make a hard guess, right? Without Kyochi's urging, he brought someone here first. Oni Lamp Chiba went back and brought back news of where Kyochi and the others lived. Although Kyochi and Minato may not be there, Kakashi and the others are still there. It is not difficult to find them, just wait there. However, after waiting for a long time, they waited for a bunch of people. Kyochi Kyochi, Namikaze Minato, and a bunch of Uchiha tribesmen also looked miserable with missing arms and legs. People thought that these people were captured by a certain base and suffered inhuman torture. This, what's going on? Yuan Shi was a little puzzled, but immediately after, he thought of the white creature and the guy who could control their mizukage. Could it be that? Someone on Konoha's side was also manipulated, and it was a bunch of people. Senior Yuanshi, I didn't expect you to come in person. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kyochi nodded slightly. If Master Yuan doesn't come, he'll go to Kirigakure to find it, but this old man can find it by himself. That's still pretty good. Master Yuan smiled, bowed slightly and said, You are a guest, of course I want to welcome you, not to mention that you saved our Kirigakure, I have to come over to thank you if I feel reasonable. You're welcome. Kyochi pointed to the distance, Yuanshi knew that Kyochi didn't want them to see too much, he nodded and followed him to the other side. There were two ninjas protecting Yuanshi who quickly wanted to keep up. But. Master Yuan waved his hand. Don't follow. Kirigakure and Konoha village have been friends for generations. Kyochi Janin has saved us even more when he came to Kirigakure. With him around, how could something happen to me? Yes. Ghost Lamp Qian Ren immediately stepped off the stage. These two teammates are really. Kanda Kyochi wants to harm Elder Genshi, can they stop it? The so-called Kirigakure and Konoha have been friends for generations. 
This goes back to the first generation period. Except for the first Hokage period, there was no such thing as befriending at other times, but this is what the two sides said, giving each other a step down, so as not to make the scene too ugly. Master Yuan is old fried dough sticks. He followed Kyochi to the side, and the two communicated by the river. Kyochi Janin, I don't know what's going on with your group. As you can see, they are all from Uchiha, but they were manipulated and taken away by some people, so in a sense, we have a common enemy to face. Kyochi didn't explain in depth, but simply talked about the superficial status quo. Master Yuan pondered for a moment, his face was a little dignified. Those people, even Uchiha can be manipulated and taken away in such a large amount. It's not easy, he was a little worried again. Now, although the opponent's illusion control has been cracked, it is because of Kyochi's help, so we can't let Kyochi take action every time, right? Even if Kanda Kyochi wants to, they don't have enough money for Kirigakir. This guy is a gold swallowing beast, asking him to make a move is expensive, how many times will he not go bankrupt? At least this time, he was already worried about whether his family background was enough to fill Kyochi's hole. After thinking, Master Yuan said solemnly, I don't know if you can reveal who the other party is, who can achieve this level of control. I used to be a ninja, but this kind of method is unheard of. None of Kirigakir's ninjutsu has this level of genjutsu in mantra. Master Yuan guessed in his heart that the identity of the person behind it might be very scary. Kyochi thought for a while and said, I don't know if I mentioned it to you. So far, we have no real evidence, but we suspect it is Uchiha Madara. You. Uchiha. Madara. Master Yuan's tone stuttered, his eyes were very shocked and weird. Are you kidding me? How could that kind of antique be still alive? His mind is a little empty. After a few seconds, he said, Impossible. According to what you said, Madara had already died in the Valley of the End. Could it be that there is something hidden here? The relationship between Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, even outsiders know a thing or two, if Senju Hashirama let Uchiha Madara go. Under guesswork, it seems that it is not completely impossible. Kiyochi shook his head. Shodai didn't show mercy, but guessing based on the current situation, we think it may be that Madara and Uchiha have some kind of hidden technique. I see, Uchiha, what an awesome family, unfathomable. Yuanshi sighed and gave Kyochi some eye drops by the way. Kyochi smiled without saying a word. This old man is dishonest, here is to separate Konoha and Uchiha. Regarding the relationship between Uchiha and Konoha. Still need you to separate. Now Uchiha doesn't dare to resist, especially knowing that Madara may still be alive and doesn't like Uchiha. They abandoned Uchiha Madara back then, and now they are facing difficulties and thinking of Madara again. Madara is pretty good for not killing them. This group of people is afraid of death now, and they can't wait to hug Konoha, especially when they turn around and take this group of people back. He praises those people even if the Uchiha people dare to leave Konoha for no reason. Sorry, I just sent it out of feeling. I thought of the legend of Madara back then. When I get old, my thoughts always diverge, and I like to recall the past. Yuan Shi sighed and continued to ask, if the opponent is Uchiha Madara, then it is not surprising. Although the strength of Mizukaj in our village is not weak, it is normal to lose then you know his purpose. To be honest, I don't know. We have also collected a lot of information, and it's not Uchiha Madara, who knows such a secret thing. Makes sense. Master Yuan fell into silence after answering. Madara. When he came, he didn't expect to hear the name of this person from Kyochi's mouth at all, and now he can't straighten out his thoughts, because this person represents an era and a legend. As a ninja who lived through that desperate era, he knows exactly what Madara and Senju Hashirama represent. Invincible. As their enemies, it is doomed to despair. How to defeat Madara? They have been studying this problem for a long time, and finally stopped the research when Uchiha Madara died in the Valley of the End, but in any case, they did not find a way to crack it. So, at this moment, he couldn't help falling into silence, not knowing how to continue. After a long time, Yuan Shikai said, I don't understand one thing, you take the initiative to attack, does it mean that you have a way to deal with Uchiha Madara? Also, how did he persist for so long? Madara was an age older than him and Onoki. At this age, a normal person would have been buried in the ground long ago, but Madara was still alive. Not only that, he also has the ability to manipulate Kirigakir, manipulating the ninja world. Could it be that he has practiced the immortal technique? Use thinking instead of asking questions, otherwise I don't want to chat with you anymore. Kiyochi took a deep breath, hold back, can't be angry. The other party is an old man, why should you be angry with him? Said it all. They are not Uchiha Madara, how do they know so much? Even though, that was also top secret information, 
how could it be told to Kirigakure so easily? Master Yuan also has a big face. Of course, shamelessness is also a quality that a village high level should have. Yuan Shi couldn't be punished all at once, but he also knew that Kyochi didn't want to talk about this kind of topic. It seems. Rhetoric is unlikely, he got down to business. Compensation. What Kyochi wants, that's something he's desperate to know now. In addition, whether an alliance can be reached with Konoha is also a very important issue at present, but Konoha's ability is too strong at present, it is not a good thing for the country of water and Kirigakure to unite with Konoha in all aspects. He was a bit in a dilemma, and Kyochi was not in a hurry, he was casually arguing with him on the sidelines, and he was not in a hurry to say his goal, and the situation got stuck for a while. Fortunately, Master Yuan couldn't sit still any longer. Kyochi Janin, although he doesn't know about Madara's current situation, there is no doubt that his hand has reached out to us, so we can't sit still. Can Kirigakure form an alliance with Konoha to deal with Uchiha Madara together? Of course, but it's just the two of us, I'm afraid. Kyochi to order. Master Yuan pondered for a moment, then nodded and said, That's true, but we may not be able to defeat Madara, we have to consider bringing in other ninja villages to form a big alliance in the ninja world. The difficulty is not small. We contacted Kirigakure about this matter, but in terms of strength and prestige, our Kirigakure is not enough to take on the big responsibility, and I hope you and Konoha can come forward at that time. It's easy to talk about. The two quickly reached a consensus and smiled at each other. That's right. It is reasonable for everyone to carry it together. They can't carry the thunder while others watch the fun from the sidelines. Yuan Shi understood what Kyochi meant. An existence like Uchiha Madara is definitely not something that one or two villages should resist alone, not to mention that Madara is not alone this time, he also has extremely weird subordinates. Can sneak into the ground and can manipulate others. Such a treacherous ability, if we don't work together to deal with it, then. With the strength of Konoha and Kirigakure, they can be wiped out first, or threatened to restrain them. The war has just ended less than a year ago. Everyone is very difficult, especially Cloud Shinobi Village and Iwagakure. The two villages fought in the Third Ninja World War, and the consumption of personnel in Jonin was very high. Although the village has recovered slightly after a year, the recovery of the number and strength of ninjas cannot be solved overnight, and there is no doubt that the strongest one is currently. Konoha. Master Yuan knew that he had no choice, and there was no need to choose other routes. Just hold on to Konoha. By the way, Kyochi Janin, I don't know what you or Konoha need. Your help to Kirigakure cannot be offset by simple money, so I don't know what reward is better for a while. Master Yuan speaks beautifully. Obviously he didn't know what to give, so he came to test Kyochi's meaning, but he said, it can't be offset by money, which made people feel comfortable. Kyochi didn't mean to be difficult. Money. To be honest, he is not too short. As long as the thing is enough, in a place like Ninja World, simple money cannot solve the problem, but other aspects are more important. He thought for a moment and said, Our Konoha is relatively short of chakra iron now. I wonder if Kirigakure can support one or two. This, Master Yuan hesitated after hearing this. Kanda Kyochi was really not a good stubble, he opened his mouth and bit on the aorta. Chakra iron. This thing is a scarce commodity, not only Konoha but their Kirigakure are also extremely scarce, otherwise they would have recast some of the seven ninja swords after three of them were taken away. However, Kyochi opened his mouth, but he couldn't refuse completely. Because there is still some chakra iron, although it is not much, but it is not a problem to pick out some. Certainly. Impossible to give away too much. Thinking of this, Yuan Shi said, Kirigakure chakra iron is not too much, at most enough to forge a ninja knife, the rest is really. Is that so? It's a pity. Let's have some ordinary ninja tools. Kyochi said. That's easy to say. Master Yuan agreed without hesitation. Ordinary ninja tools, although the value is not low in quantity, are the most acceptable conditions for Kirigakure, and he is about to say a few beautiful words to compliment. Forget about ninjutsu, Konoha does not lack ninjutsu, but regarding Mist Shinobi and Silent Assassination, do you think there is a possibility for our two villages to exchange and learn? In addition, our villages have already united. Is it possible to increase cooperation in business? I heard that Konoha's caravan has been blocked for a while? Kyochi rambled on. Master Yuan's face was stiff. He thought that Kyochi only had that little request, but he didn't expect that those were just appetizers, the real request was far more than that, I can only say. I think too well of this kid, it really is not a good stubble. Well, that's all I can think of for now. This, Kyochi Janin. What's the matter, is there any difficulty? I think they are all reasonable needs, and even many of them are normal exchanges between our two villages? That's right, 
but I'm old and frail, so I really can't remember that much. Master Yuan moved out the age card, no way. Kiyochi is asking too much. Not much, it's actually a comprehensive cooperation, which is beneficial to everyone. Isn't Rain Shinobi Village and Sanagakure launching a lot of cooperation now? We are an alliance, can we be worse than them? That's not the case. Of course, business cooperation. We are also manipulated by Uchiha Madara. Otherwise, how could we refuse to do business? Master Yuan coughed lightly, as he agreed to a condition. Business, yes. Although he knows that this deal is not profitable, after all, there are Konoha Bingliang pills everywhere in Sanagakure and Rain Shinobi village. As far as they know, there are even footprints of Konoha caravans in the land of thunder and the land of earth. Their Bingliang pills are sold all over the world, frantically amassing wealth. Not only that, Konoha also sells food. God knows where Konoha gets so much food, but even knowing this, this is already a relatively light price, and it can indeed relieve the food pressure in the country of water. The Ninjutsu Exchange. Well, I have to go back to the village and have a good discussion. In this way, Kyochi Janin, this will be put on the cooperation project between our two villages. Let's leave it aside and talk about it. Master Yuan continued to pull. Although it gave up a lot of benefits in the end, it was not without gains, at least not too outrageous losses, such as ninjutsu cooperation. It's just bullshit. Not to mention that the cooperation method of sharing ninjutsu experience is impossible, and Konoha's missed shinobi technique and silent assassination technique were, steeled, from Kirigakure. The results of it? Turn around and come back to share your experience with them. This request is too magical. If you promise yourself, you will become a ghost. Kiyochi didn't ask too much. It's impossible to communicate with others like Mist Shinobi in Silent Assassination. However, when going back to the village, it's not a problem to learn some basic knowledge of water style. Those were the original goals. After a bit of wrangling, the two parties roughly agreed on their opinions, and Master Yuan also got a relatively positive answer from Kiyochi, and he had more ideas in his mind. Certainly. Besides these, they also talked about other things. For example, who will be pulled into the water next? No doubt. The Land of Thunder. Although there are some small gaps between 4th generation I and Kyochi and Kirigakure, it does not prevent them from putting pressure on I in the next step, after all. The war is over, now we are talking about new cooperation. After finishing Cloud Shinobi Village, it is not too late to deal with Iwagakure. I believe I would be happy to be that bad guy, and these will be negotiated by Kirigakure for the time being. After the first wave of negotiations, Konoha will come forward again, saving Konoha a lot of trouble. Also, Kiyochi also rented a large boat. A dozen blind men wanted to go back, so naturally they could only take a boat. With Yuanshi coming forward, he didn't need to find those unreliable boatmen, and Kirigakure's fleet would send them back directly. The boat is big and stable, on the way back. He began to think about how to convince Nagato. Regarding this point, he also communicated with Minato. Minato knew those brothers, but they were not very familiar with each other. But, there is one thing everyone agrees on. Can't leave Nagato and the others alone. If his eyes really came from Madara, Nagato could be in great danger given the premise that Kyochi is going crazy. Konoha here. Jiraiya originally planned to go back to the village and go out to continue training after playing for a while, but Kyochi's words made him fall into deep entanglement. If, the great toad sage really just set a direction and let himself work hard in this direction, but actually decides whether a disciple is the child of prophecy or not, or depends on his own efforts and teachings. It seems that there is no need to go out. But. Think again. Staying in the village, he would be nailed to death by Tsunade when he went to collect materials. Maybe there is a brat watching in the dark, thinking about how to plot against him and let him do a free job for him. Never mind. Or go out, at least free. He had just made up his mind, packed up the things he had prepared in advance and was about to go out, but when he saw Tsunade approaching him as soon as he went out, his legs suddenly went limp. Something happened to me. Wrong. Since returning to the village, he has been very restrained. He has never wandered there, so how could anything happen? He chuckled, and said hello. Hey, Tsunade, don't you need to deal with business today, and come to my place when you have time, hee <laughs> hee. Did you know that your old friend is going out, so you came to find me for a drink to practice? Don't think it's too beautiful Jiraiya, I'm looking for you for business, not for boring things like drinking. Jiraiya wouldn't be surprised if it came from the old man's mouth, but from Tsunade. Why do you feel very strange? No matter how I think about it, I feel like putting down the bottle and scolding the boss. Fortunately, this guy doesn't smell of alcohol in his mouth, otherwise Jiraiya would really have to tease him. But, since it was a business, he had to be serious. Tsunade came here specially. Either it's something important, or it's just hard to tell people. 
He pointed to the room with a serious face. Go in and talk. Um. Jiraiya's house is a bit old, and the dust in the kitchen and other places inside has not been cleaned. It can be seen that this guy didn't plan to stay in the village for a long time. Tsunade wasn't surprised. Jiraiya is the one with the loosest and freest personality among the three of them. Sometimes, she still envies Jiraiya. At least, he can put sadness and emotions in his heart and still live freely. This kind of free and easy is very admirable. However, now, she has to make a request to embarrass Jiraiya. We hope you can negotiate with Nagato and let him come to Konoha for a while. Nagato. Jiraiya frowned, a little surprised and surprised, and then frowned slightly. What happened? Although Nagato has the eyes of a fairy, and it may belong to someone else, there is no need to let him come to Konoha, right? Kiyochi mentioned before, Nagato's eyes may not belong to him? That's right. Jiraiya nodded slightly. At that time, he still thought it was impossible, thinking that Kiyochi was alarmist, but after thinking about it carefully, he felt that it was not unreasonable, and approved Kiyochi's conjecture. Could it be? Do you know who it belongs to? It was just a conjecture before, but recently there is some evidence, and we are 40% to 50% sure that the other party is Uchiha Madara. Tsunade said lightly. Jiraiya froze for a moment, then froze in place. After a few seconds, he frowned and said, Uchiha Madara, Kiyochi seems to have mentioned it before, but now there is evidence? We got some cell tissue from his subordinates. After DNA analysis, the source is my grandfather Senju Hashirama, and in the ninja world, except for our high-level Konoha, who can have access to that thing. Only Madara who fought him, Jiraiya spoke for her. With a serious face, he closed his eyes and pondered for a long time. Although Danzo is very bad in some things, it is recognized by everyone that he has his own principles, and it is absolutely impossible for things like Hashirama cells to flow out of his hands. Others are only accessible to Hokage and the researchers of the year. However, every cell is strictly controlled, and it is impossible to flow out from the research of that year. Then there is only one possibility, fighting. Madara. He had some conjectures before, but when he actually heard the evidence, he was still a little shocked and unbelievable. At this moment, he kept speculating in his mind, and many clues slowly gathered. Really like it? What else is going on? Madara had mastered Kirigakir before. During this time, Kirigakir's actions were actually planned by Madara for Konoha. Kiyochi found their research base in the country of water and discovered the missing Uchiha rebel. Tsunade talked about the information he just got. Including those Uchiha people who had their eyes gouged out, and some of them were even missing arms and legs. They obviously suffered inhuman torture and she also told Jiraiya about the specific situation. Jiraiya's face became more serious after hearing this. Gouging eyes. This means that the other party needs Sharingan very much. On the other hand, as Kyochi guessed, the other party might be trying to create a Mangekyo Sharingan. Only Madara knows Mangekyo Sharingan so well. The issue is, Madara has a Mangekyo, why would he want to make another one? Cultivate successors? Maybe it's a possibility. But more. What if he gave others his own eyes? Right on. It seems that Nagato must come to Konoha. He is too dangerous in Rain Shinobi village, but it is impossible for me to do it alone. I can't do it with Hanzo. I have to go with Kyochi and me. Jiraiya said. Certainly. At the same time, he also had another question in his mind. Madara's eyes are just Sharingan. How did he manage to raise the Sharingan to the Rinnegan? This, unbelievable. But no one can answer this question, and even Kyochi probably has only a half knowledge. But, there is no doubt that Nagato's situation is indeed dangerous, and it has reached the point where he has to be taken to Konoha. Also, Yahiko and Konan, probably less safe too. He was confused and wanted to go to Rain Shinobi village to find them right away, but now that Kyochi hasn't come back, it's useless for him to go by himself. When will Kyochi come back? Latest tomorrow. It is good. Jiraiya put down the luggage, thought for a while, and took out some things from it. These are all available for combat. In his mind, this trip to Rain Shinobi village might have to face some battles. After all, Yahiko and the others are the current pillars of Rain Shinobi village, and letting Nagato come to Konoha, perhaps in the eyes of Hanzo, is tantamount to arresting and threatening. If it were Hanzo, he would never let him go easily. He was on pins and needles during this day, wishing he could stay at the gate of Kyochi's house so that he would not know when Kyochi came back until noon the next day. Kyochi Flying Thunder God is back. Uchiha's rebellious ninja has been escorted to the land of fire, with Ambu team and a team of Jonin team plus Shisui's protection, so the safety is guaranteed. He can come back with peace of mind and go to Rain Shinobi village with Jiraiya. This is also the result of discussions between Kyochi and Minato. Compared with Minato and Kyochi, 
Jiraiya's words are obviously more useful, but on Hanzo's side, it needs Kyochi's strength and accumulated prestige to suppress. So. They both have to go. But Kyochi didn't expect that he heard Jiraiya's shout as soon as he landed. Kyochi, come out, I'm ready. What the hell are you? Guard at my door? Also Nima perception has never stopped, right? It's outrageous. Kyochi was quite speechless, he didn't know what to say, if he didn't know that this guy didn't dare to do other things, he would have wanted to go out and beat Jiraiya up. Get out. Hurry up. It doesn't make much difference if you go early or late, so you can't let me rest for a while, I always need a drink of water. Quickly. He is a legend of that era, and it is not easy to take away Nagato's eyes, and since he can control third Mizukage and Yugura, he can also control Nagato. Jiraiya retorted. He listened to the information relayed by Tsunade and thought about it all night, and he naturally understood what this information represented. Can detect so much. And. The most important thing is that Kyochi also broke the trap set by Madara and rescued both third Mizukage and Yugura. Although he only saved half of them and did not fully recover, it is quite remarkable. After all, the opponent is a legend like Uchiha Madara. If Nagato and Yahiko were replaced, they would definitely not be able to play against Madara and his men. As their teacher, Jiraiya is of course more anxious than anyone else. Kyochi gave him a speechless look. It's useless for you to be anxious. The question now is whether Nagato will come to Konoha. You must know that there are Yahiko and Konin at Rain Shinobi Village. What do they think of Yahiko when he comes here alone? But, another one. Even if they have a good relationship with us, they can let Nagato come over, but is Nagato willing? Kyochi said seriously, you think it's for Nagato's sake, but have you considered Nagato's opinion? Especially Nagato, he seems to be taciturn, but in fact it's hard to turn back if he recognizes it. I, you. But you can't just do nothing, right? Jiraiya scratches at her hair irritably, he had to admit, Kyochi was right. As a teacher, he didn't consider Nagato's character and opinions. He just wished that he was doing Nagato's best, and Nagato would definitely listen to his opinions. But in fact, both Yahiko and Nagato are people with their own ideas, and they may not necessarily listen to his opinions. And you'd rather make a mistake than do nothing? Cough. So this is not pulling you together, you have always been more capable, and you have a lot more ideas than me, I can't help it, but you must have a way. Jiraiya chuckled, it was quite shameless, she didn't think there was anything wrong with what she said. Kyochi sighed. I'm hungry eat first to restore my strength, and I have to wait for Chakra to recover if I have anything to do. I have pawns. Well, I mean, I'm in for a treat. Jiraiya was half speaking, realizing that he had to rely on Kyochi at this moment, and Binglongmaru was obviously not sincere enough. Dinner. Yes. My treat. Not good, let you spend money. No, no, please, please, Jiraiya asked repeatedly, pulling and pulling, and pulled Kyochi from here to Ichiraku Ramen Restaurant. The ramen is hearty. Top match. After eating and drinking enough, Kyochi and Jiraiya set off from Konoha at a leisurely pace, along the way to recover chakra with digestion belt, and at the same time exchange information and ideas. Let's not try to persuade Nagato and the others first, but go to see Hanzo first, and let's work from the top down. Are you trying to form a ninja village alliance to deal with Madara? Jiraiya was thoughtful. If the goals at the village level are agreed, then many things will go smoothly and there is no need to struggle and this is indeed something that only Kyochi can do. Everyone knows. He is basically equivalent to half a Hokage now, and the power in Konoha's darkness is more than that of the previous Danzo. Yes, it's not just Rain Shinobi Village. After I get Rain Shinobi Village, I'll go get Sanagakure. There's no way they can refuse, because I have something very important. Kyochi smiled. Third Keizkage's corpse puppet. No one can refuse this kind of big killer, and Sanagakure disagrees. Konoha can secretly study magnet style, and Sanagakure also suffers serious losses. Certainly. This magnet style thing. To be honest, Kyochi doesn't like it very much. After researching it, he tried to popularize it. The other functions are not very big, and the corpse of third case cage is actually not needed to study it. He can study it with Orochimaru himself, it just takes a little effort. So. The biggest role of this thing is the symbolic meaning and the value of the puppet itself, but Konoha cannot be used. If an alliance can be reached, it can be regarded as making the best use of everything. As for the scorpion, he is not going to pay it back. After rushing all the way, Kyochi Chakra has recovered a lot, and Rishi Chakra has also recovered more than half. Although it has not reached a perfect state, it is basically enough. So. He twisted his neck, grabbed Jiraiya with one hand, and activated the jutsu and ninjutsu prepared in advance in his hand. After a while, Jiraiya's eyes were spinning. Flying Thunder God. In the blink of an eye, 
the picture in front of you changes. He opened his eyes, stood still for an instant, and took out his knuckles. Subsequently, he saw a looming cloud. It seemed to be raining not far away, but here it was peaceful and sunny. Where is the country of rain? Next moment. Kiyochi also appeared beside him. Let's go. When did you cast the spell? This is an important place for the Anbu team to patrol, and it is also the place where conflicts are most likely to occur, so I asked Anbu to engrave spells in such places for support. Kiyochi explained briefly. Jiraiya was secretly shocked when she heard this. This guy, has popularized Flying Thunder God to this point? He didn't know about the Phileijun. At present, Phileijun is a high-level secret in Konoha. Except for Anbu, only Kiyochi, third generation in Tsunade know about it for the time being. So, he naturally thought that Kiyochi had managed to let many people in Anbu master the Flying Thunder God. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. Jiraiya recovered from the shock with mixed emotions. Popularize the Flying Thunder God. This is something that Second Hokage failed to do. Kiyochi has done it, surpassing Second Hokage in a way. Do not. To be precise. If Kiyochi's current achievements continue, Konoha will definitely be more prosperous and powerful than in the past. Not to mention Second Hokage, even surpassing First Hokage, it is not impossible to become Konoha's new benchmark and legend. This guy. It was more like the son of prophecy than the son of prophecy. Thinking of this, Jiraiya's heart skipped a beat. Kiyochi. Um? You said, is it possible that you are also the son of prophecy? Kiyochi glanced at him, speechless. This guy. What do you think about all day? You think it is? I think the son of prophecy is quite nonsense. Let's go. Enter the kingdom of rain. I don't have the flying thunder god spell in front of me. No matter how heaven defying it is, it is impossible to mark the flying thunder god spell to the land of rain. This is to let Hanzo know that there will be a village conflict, and Kiyochi will not choose such a radical method unless it is a last resort. The two entered the kingdom of rain from the border. The rain pattered down. Although the land of rain is already taking action, the current scale is not too large, and the impact on the climate is not significant. The land of rain still rains all year round. But. The water level of the river is noticeably smaller. Come out. We are Kiyochi and Jiraiya from Konoha village, we are going to your village to meet your leader. Kiyochi stepped into the country of rain and called out to a direction. Jiraiya froze for a moment. It was only when Kiyochi shouted out that he sensed the presence of the other party. Good boy. Perception is much stronger than before. What is this guy researching? Compared with this, I seem to be very salty, as if I was wasting my time all day. Seem, indeed it is. Jiraiya stroked her chin. He hasn't studied ninjutsu carefully for a while. The sage mode that he studied seriously recently was taught by Kiyochi, and he doesn't seem to have any new ideas for his own ninjutsu. It can't go on like this. After returning home, start to work hard, don't waste your time and waste time, teach the son of prophecy, you must have enough skills yourself. Jiraiya is very conscious. But. Rain Shinobi Village Anbu in the front came out. Although he was wearing a veil, he had a handsome figure and looked not bad, his eyes lit up. Ahem, I am. Master Kiyochi, I know you. The leader said that if you want to come, you don't need to report, just go directly to Rain Shinobi Village. Of course, if you need to lead the way, I will be happy to help you. That's not necessary, I still went to Rain Shinobi Village, the road is relatively familiar, hard work, you continue. Yes. After saluting, the Rain Shinobi Village ninja disappeared into the jungle. Kiyochi moved on. Jiraiya rubbed her nose resentfully. After walking for a while, he said with dissatisfaction, Why do you have such a high prestige in Rain Shinobi Village? Even their Anbu worships you so much, with those little eyes. Sour? TCH, this immortal has seen more women than you, a hairy kid, would I care about such things? Don't be kidding. Jiraiya was a little pissed off, she jumped to the side and grinned. Kiyochi shrugged and didn't continue, he went on. Jiraiya followed behind, naturally a little depressed. But. He quickly turned his attention to changes at Rain Shinobi Village. Rain Shinobi Village has changed a lot. Although it seems that the climate has not changed much, there are many more roads and waterways than before, and caravans travel between the land of rain and foreign countries through the waterways. Therefore, the kingdom of rain became more prosperous. This, Jiraiya was thoughtful. In the past, the land of rain didn't have so many waterways. Because the roads were muddy and rough, people didn't want to come to the land of rain to do business. There were more detours in the land of rivers or the land of earth. But. Now that the waterway has been repaired, it is completely different. This kind of layout looks a bit like Kiyochi's handwriting. Did this kid help rain Shinobi village? 
Jiraiya doesn't know much about the little ninja village alliance, let alone the ninja business circle that Kyochi is running, so she is still curious about what's going on. The closer he got to Rain Shinobi village, the more he found that Rain Shinobi village was different from what he remembered. So much has changed. I remember that I came to Rain Shinobi village more than half a year ago. At that time, I came to see Conan and the others to see how they were living. At that time, Rain Shinobi village was still very poor, and everyone's life was not very good. Jiraiya was a little emotional. Rich. This is what he felt after entering Rain Shinobi village. This is the charm of business. Everyone does business. As long as you don't take the initiative to break the business rules, the ninja world will become richer and richer, capital will flow, and disputes between everyone will be realized by other means. Kiyochi said. Jiraiya was thoughtful. This. I never thought about it. He thought for a moment, and the situation of the country of Tang appeared in his mind, then nodded slightly and said. Although I don't quite understand what you mean, but I can understand, I have been to the country of Tang, where hot springs and scenery famous, so richer. The country of Tang is a country that has no fighting spirit. Kiyochi nods. But, he doesn't agree with Tang Zhiguo's thinking. A rich country can be stable and peaceful, but it must not be without the power to protect itself. This is the disadvantage of letting an ordinary person be the village head. Certainly. If there is no war between the big countries, then their survival mode is very safe, and the big countries will not take the initiative to invade the country of soup. In particular, it is located between the land of fire and the land of thunder, and is an important buffer zone. This model is safer than grasslands like the country of grass. The country of rain is of course different from the country of Tang, but there are many similarities. When Kyochi's caravans come here, their impression will be deepened. It was Konoha who helped them make Rain Shinobi village prosperous now. Certainly. This is also true. Rain Shinobi Village is an ally of Konoha. The price of Bingliang pills they get from Konoha will be a little lower than normal. These Bingliang pills cannot be used for retrading, but they can be used for their internal use. Therefore, not only civilians, but the ninja group is also grateful to Konoha. This is also the origin of Kyochi's prestige here. It can be said, till this moment, among the people in the outer village, Kyochi has the highest right to speak in Rain Shinobi Village, and the journey is basically unimpeded and even those ninjas bow to Kyochi frequently. Those who know understand that Kyochi belongs to Konoha. Unknown, I thought this kid was the leader of Rain Shinobi village. Outrageous. Jiraiya followed behind, sighing inwardly. Times have changed. Those rules in the past seem to be less and less applicable now. In the not too distant future, if the kind of non-armed war that Kyochi said really happened. Also don't know if it's good or bad for ninja. Ninjas are tools of war and missions. Without armed warfare, do we still need ninjas? Jiraiya didn't know. He was a bit confused in his heart. Obviously, such a prosperous world was the peace he was looking forward to, but he really saw hope, but he still had other worries. All the way to the village. Instead of going to Nagato and the others, Kyochi went straight to Hanzo, the leader of Rain Shinobi village. Hanzo had been waiting for a long time. His eyes and ears are everywhere in Rain Shinobi village, and when characters like Kyochi and Jiraiya enter the village, his subordinates will naturally report them immediately. They had no trouble meeting Hanzo. Hanzo was surprised by Kyochi's arrival, especially after seeing Jiraiya. He wouldn't be surprised if they had come to fight. Kyochi and Jiraiya can almost beat most of the shinobi villages, including their rain shinobi village, but if they find fault, they come here so blatantly. It also seems impossible. Kyochi, Jiraiya, long time no see, are you coming to rain shinobi village this time? Hanzo was not interested in guessing riddles. After meeting the two of them, he asked the purpose directly. He was straightforward, and Kyochi was also unambiguous, and directly took out a scroll. Hanzo frowned. The next second, Kyochi began to seal. Please look at someone. Personally? Hanzo is puzzled. Although Rain Shinobi Village is not strong, there is no rebellious ninja that is too strong and worthy of attention these years. Ordinary rebellious ninjas can be solved by their own village, and there is no need for Kyochi to arrest them, let alone. Even if he catches it by the way, he doesn't have to deliver it to the door himself. He stood up and looked at Kyochi curiously, next moment. The scroll spread out, and a white figure emerged from the scroll. It was bound by vines all over its body, and the chakra in its body was quickly eliminated by the vines infused with the fairy chakra after it was produced, so that it has not been able to break free until now. Although Hanzo is not a medical ninja, as a ninja who transplanted poison sacs very early, he has indeed done a lot of research on the human body, not to mention. In the case of White Zetsu, you don't need too much professional knowledge to fully see his abnormality. This thing doesn't seem to be a normal person. He frowned. Is it the limit of blood succession? 
it's not like, it's like, it's like. Like what? Jiraiya certainly knows what it looks like. First generation cells. But, Hanzo definitely didn't know, so he was playing dumb on purpose. Hanzo thought for a long time, and said, I don't know, but it feels a bit like the first Hokage back then, but it's very different. His intuition told him that this thing might have something to do with first generation. But, what do you think? He has nothing to do with Senju Hashirama. And, what are you doing here to show yourself? Hanzo was puzzled. He looked up. As you can see, it is indeed a strange copy. You can see it clearly now, but how about closing your eyes? Kiyochi begins to perform the spell, activating White Zetsu's concealment ability. Hanzo closed his eyes to perceive. After a second or two, he snapped his eyes open and looked at White Zetsu in shock. Can't feel it. But, it is clearly in front of you. If the opponent has enough strength, he is simply the perfect assassin. He sort of understood why Kiyochi had come. How many of these are there? I don't know, but I have encountered three of them, and two of them died. Only this one is still active. Its source is indeed first Hokage, but its ability is completely different. Hanzo understood so quickly, and Kiyochi didn't try to hide it. When he came to cooperate with Hanzo, he must share some information, otherwise there would be no foundation and sincerity for cooperation, and there would be no need to talk further. Hanzo was silent for a long time. The existence of this kind of creature is a huge threat to any village, and since Kiyochi came to him, it showed that this kind of thing was not invented by Konoha, but someone else. This is weird. Except Konoha. Someone still has access to what the first Hokage left behind. After a few seconds, he said, Can you tell me what happened? I think this is probably shocking news. Certainly. Kiyochi shared about Kirigakir with Hanzo. Hanzo didn't feel anything at first, but. Hearing that even third Mizukage and Yugura were being manipulated, he was finally moved, and his expression was quite surprised. After all, it was the shadow of a village, and Yugura. Although it was not clearly stated, everyone knew that he was the next generation heir without accident. However, these two people have been tricked by each other one after another, and they have been manipulated by strange means. Even, shadow, is like this, let alone other people? If the secret organization is allowed to act recklessly, I am afraid that the ninja world will be manipulated by them. You came to me, which means that my village also has their target, is it Nagato? Rinnegan, the legendary sage of six paths also has such eyes, the most mysterious of the three pupils, and it is indeed easy to be targeted. No need for Kiyochi to say it, Hanzo figured it out on his own. He pondered for a few seconds, as if weighing the gains and losses, and said after a few seconds, Rain Shinobi village and Konoha's friendship is beyond doubt. I personally support Nagato to be better protected, but I'm afraid you have to communicate with Nagato about this matter. A bit. It's easy to talk to a smart person, and you don't need to go around at all, so I'll go first. Hearing this, Jiraiya was about to go out, but was grabbed by Kiyochi with his right hand. What are you panicking about? Do you know if there is white Zetsu in the dark? Uh, Jiraiya got stuck when she heard this. Really, do not know. So that's it. I thought you Konoha had already mastered the method of perfectly restraining the opponent. It seems that only you have mastered this technique so this technique is not universal, so it will be even more troublesome. Hanzo sighed. Opponents that are difficult to perceive with ordinary means are simply nightmares for small villages like them, and he feels more and more that Nagato is a hot potato. Although Rinnegan is very fragrant, but. That also depends on whether it can be kept. If you can't keep it, it's better to push it out quickly. He thought for a while and said, Wait a minute, let me ask Yahiko to come and listen together. He is now helping me manage the affairs of the village, so his opinion is also very important. Of course it's best. Not for a while. When Yahiko arrived, Hanzo briefly introduced the previous situation, and Yahiko's face changed rapidly. During this period of time, he has gained a lot of experience, and he has a clearer understanding of the management of villages and organizations, the relationship between villages, etc., and his thinking and knowledge have matured a lot. Therefore, he knew exactly what that meant. Rain Shinobi Village currently has no technique to guard against this kind of concealment ability. I think it is indeed necessary for Nagato to go to your side. Sensei, Kiyochi, please ensure Nagato's safety. Yahiko bowed deeply. Without the slightest hesitation, he chose to let Nagato go to Konoha to keep him safe. Very good, we have reached a consensus on this point, then we can continue to chat, the next part is business. I think both of you have some guesses about the identity of the person behind it. But I can tell you too clearly, as far as the information Konoha is collecting now. The person behind it is probably Uchiha Madara, and Nagato's eyes are probably Madara's. Kiyochi said. Hanzo was a little surprised, but not too surprised, because he thought about it before, and apart from Konoha's people, 
the only one who had the chance to get Hashirama cells was Uchiha Madara back then. It is impossible for anyone else to hurt Senju Hashirama. To his surprise, Rinnegan could be Madara's. This. Nagato's eyes belong to Madara. No way, he has had them since he was a child. Yahiko couldn't take it at first. It wasn't when I was a child. To be precise, it was after an inexplicable Konoha shinobi invaded and killed me. I remember you mentioned this to me, right? There was no Rinnegan in Nagato at that time. Of course, you can also explain that Rinnegan burst out with a powerful awakening strength. When Kyochi said this, he took out a book seriously, but a descendant of the Uzumaki tribe, whose body is even a little worse than ordinary people, do you think it is normal? This book is a brief introduction to the Uzumaki clan. Mainly for Yahiko. Yahiko took it, read it carefully, and fell silent. The Uzumaki family. Of course he has heard of it, but he really doesn't know about such characteristics as strong vitality and strong physique, and there is no similar manifestation in Nagato. Maybe it's because he wandered around since childhood. Yahiko couldn't continue speaking halfway through, because he didn't believe it himself, let alone use this set of rhetoric to convince others. Hanzo waved his hand and said, These are not important. Whether it belongs to Madara or not has nothing to do with us. All we have to do is not let him get it. That's right. Neither Rinnegan nor Madara are important to us, no Madara is important to us. For a dead person like Madara, staying in the soil is the best result. Run out to make trouble. Everyone was afraid and even fidgeted, including Hanzo. After all. That was a legend. There was only one Senju Hashirama who could compete with Uchiha Madara back then, and now that Senju Hashirama is dead, it is not so easy to suppress him. Now, Hanzo even prays that Nagato's eyes are Madara's. So, at least they can comfort themselves that Madara's strength is not as strong as in the peak period, even if they are juniors, they still have the possibility of defeating each other. Or. After so many years, even a character like Madara has not been immune to aging. Although he is not dead, he is now equally old and not as strong as before. Otherwise. The unbeaten Uchiha Madara is so powerful that it makes people desperate. Yahiko was fine instead. The name Madara is just a legend, and history for him, without that suffocating sense of oppression, because he has not experienced the era ruled by Senju and Uchiha. For Madara. More is a comprehensive understanding from books and information. So. On the contrary, he was calmer than Hanzo. Kyochi's idea is already very clear. Join hands to kill Uchiha Madara, and it's not the two villages of them, it's the whole ninja world that joins forces to get rid of Madara first. Hanzo and Kyochi came to find Nagato together. Nagato is with Conan. Most of the time, Conan is busier than Nagato. After all, Conan's origami technique is very useful for making detonators or for communication. Not to mention, she is still serving as a school teacher now, and she has to take care of all the affairs of the ninja school. She is so busy every day, these two days are a rare rest time. So, when Kyochi arrived, it smelled rich and meaty. It's delicious, Conan, do you have some for me? A. Hey. Kyochi kun. Why are you here? Conan poked her head out, dressed at home, and was surprised and happy when she saw Kyochi. After saying hello to Kyochi, she saw Jiraiya behind Kyochi. Some people only see Kyochi in their eyes, and they can't see me at all. Alas, female apprentices are like this. Teacher. What are you talking about? Conan was speechless, she was really just. Did not see. All right. Jiraiya is not as handsome, tall, and eye-catching as Kyochi, and it is indeed difficult for him to notice it immediately. She pooed and didn't continue to answer Jiraiya's words. Master, Hanzo sama, Kyochi. Nagato said hello one by one. We are all acquaintances here, so after bowing and saluting, everyone was not so restrained and relaxed quickly, especially Jiraiya and Conan's few words made the atmosphere suddenly warm. When Jiraiya arrived, he huddled in the kitchen. He was really hungry all the way here, especially after smelling the smell of meat. Kyochi was not in a hurry to talk about the business, but first chatted with Nagato casually, while he quietly used his avatar and fairy chakra to investigate the situation underground. There is no white zetsu, how about it? Hanzo could sense Kyochi mobilizing chakra, guessing that he might be sensing what's going on underground. Kyochi shook his head slightly. I haven't found it yet, but I don't know if it was there before, but there must be no one listening around here. That's good. Hanzo breathed a sigh of relief. If the other party is so rampant, then he really doesn't know what to say. Nagato was a little puzzled, but he didn't say much, just watched silently, waiting for Kyochi and Hanzo to tell the situation themselves, if they don't say. That's okay too. When it's time to know, sooner or later you will know. If you shouldn't know, it means that you didn't know it. Anyway, Yahiko will definitely not harm him. Say it. 
Yahiko looked at Kyochi. Kyochi nodded slightly, and Yahiko explained the cause and effect in detail. Conan inside also heard the situation, and he didn't even care about the flesh, and came out to listen there. Jiraiya had to deal with it, after listening. Nagato himself has nothing to do, but Conan took the lead and said, If only Kyochi can perceive the other party's traces, I support Nagato to stay in Konoha. Staying in Rain Shinobi village may be dangerous for everyone. That's what I mean too. Yahiko nodded slightly. Nagato fell silent. Jiraiya stir fried it, added some water and poked his head out and said, I think it's not just Nagato's problem. You two are also very dangerous. That Madara guy is old now, but he's good at manipulating others. Maybe we'll control you both. This, Yahiko and Conan exchanged glances. This also. It's possible. The relationship between the three of them, they know each other well, and they know Nagato's character even more. If they are controlled, Madara offers to ask for an exchange, and it is estimated that Nagato will not hesitate. This is an exploitable weakness. But, Rain Shinobi Village can do without Nagato, but it cannot do without Yahiko and Konan, especially in the most critical period like this, once they leave the entire alliance of Rain Shinobi Village and Konan, there will be problems. In this matter, Hanzo could no longer nod decisively. The atmosphere was silent for a moment. Is there any other way? Nagato doesn't hold an important position in the village, but Konan's and I's positions are very important. At present, Rain Shinobi Village can't find anyone to replace him. In the end it was Yahiko who spoke, he is the most suitable. It doesn't matter. I'll explain to you how that guy manipulates people. You should be on your guard. His manipulation of others is mainly based on illusion, and some of them are supplemented by some kind of spell. It may have something to do with the position of the heart. Kiyochi said one by one the information he had obtained. Yahiko and Konan listened carefully, at last. Kiyochi said, If you don't mind, I can send a Hyuga team over. If you are under the control of the illusion, they can detect it and help you release it. No problem. Hanzo didn't hesitate. Although there are many things in Rain Shinobi village that are inconvenient to disclose to Konoha, but compared to the safety of the village, these are nothing. As for the possibility that this matter was concocted by Kiyochi. As far as Kiyochi's senses are concerned after getting along, Hanzo thinks there is none. Because of Kiyochi's strength, there is no need to use such dirty methods at all, with subordinates like White Zetsu not being exposed as the way to maximize profits. Not to mention, Kirigakir's situation can't be hidden from anyone, as long as you inquire after the fact. Nagato heard this and only said a word, then go to Konoha, I just want to see Konoha. As the owner of Rinnegan, Nagato has always remembered Jiraiya's words and carefully protected his eyes, so when Danzo was there, he never got close to Konoha. But, now that Danzo is dead, Konoha is in charge of Kyochi, so there is no need to worry so much. On the other hand, he is really curious about Konoha under Kyochi's governance. That village. It may be the goal of future study for everyone in the ninja world. Nagato agreed, and Yahiko and Konan were relieved. As for their own problems, the two didn't care too much. In their opinion, being in Rain Shinobi village shouldn't be too dangerous, and Kyochi even sent someone over. They are aware of the abilities of the Hyuga clan. Although this may reveal some of the village's secrets, to be honest. As far as Konoha's current strength and level are concerned, Rain Shinobi village can only learn from others, and many secrets are not important to them. Hanzo's agreement here is also after careful consideration. The current Rain Shinobi village. Obviously, although he is close to Sanagakure, he knows who is the boss of this circle. The entire ninja village circle was helped by Konoha, who is the boss and who is the second child, isn't it clear at a glance? Moreover, in this ninja world war, Konoha can be said to have done what he wanted to do before. With the strength of one village, it defeated other ninja villages. Although there is a sequence, only three ninja villages launched the attack at the same time, and there are differences in intensity, but overall, Konoha's strength is now the only one of the five villages, and no one will doubt it. Following Konoha is the kingly way, but, he also has a question about the Hyuga clan. Kyochi, I have experienced the concealment ability of this creature. Ask a question that may be relatively hidden. Can you see it with white eyes? Hanzo asked now. Kyochi shook his head lightly and said, They have strong concealment ability, and they can't be perfectly distinguished like white eyes. I believe the intelligence system of Rain Shinobi Village should know something about Konoha, right? As this. About Uchiha? Yahiko can't hide things. But. It's also because he trusts Kyochi enough. That's right. The civil strife in Uchiha is essentially caused by this thing behind the scenes. At that time, one of the Anbu team I ordered to monitor had white eyes. Kyochi said. Although I didn't say it too clearly, it shouldn't be difficult to understand what Kyochi is talking about based on Hanzo and Yahiko's information. 
After all, Rain Shinobi Village Intelligence is not weak. After pondering for a moment, Hanzo said, After the Uchiha people were taken away, did they go to the country of water? Um. Kyochi nodded slightly, Hanzo exhaled. So, Madara got quite a lot of Sharingan, the quality is not high, but definitely not low. Very troublesome, certainly, the key is. Both Bayan and Sharingan can't see the hidden situation of this creature, which is also a very terrible situation, so the effect of Bayan is much lower. But, we've been working on it recently and believe there will be some results in the short term. Kyochi joked, you have to thank Yahiko and the others, if it weren't for this relationship, you rain shinobi village would like to invite a team like this, at least for the price of an S-level mission. After all, the ninja world may only be mastered by us at present. Technology. Pay someone to monitor your village? Hanzo wanted to complain a little. But, if you think about it carefully, this is really the case. Techniques with only one guild are often very expensive. S-rank rewards are still low, he suspects. The S-level compensation that Kanda Kiyochi mentioned may refer to one per person, not the calculation by the team. Okay, the official business is over, Chief Hanzo, you must be very busy, right? In that case, we won't keep you for dinner, you see. As the leader of Ninja Village, old man, it's not too much to stay here for a meal, right? Hanzo couldn't bear it. This is Rain Shinobi Village, not Konoha. This guy looks like a local snake. You transplanted a poison sack. Forget about this crop. Hanzo was speechless, and after a long time, he sighed and said, Let's go, it's okay for Nagato to go to Konoha. But if I know that you force Nagato to do something he doesn't agree with, the old man is capable of hurting Konoha. Don't worry, it's better to leave. Kiyochi waved his hand. Yahiko and Nagato didn't know how to interject. These two people, it's really interesting. There is a big age difference, but they are like friends with each other, and there is no barrier in speaking. It's them. As the leader of Rain Shinobi Village, Hanzo couldn't chat with them so smoothly and naturally. Of course, this also has something to do with their attitudes. For them to speak to Hanzo so disrespectfully. It seems impossible. Maybe this is the boss? Yahiko thought to himself, when he recovered, Hanzo had already left here. He just remembered. I forgot to send it myself. Yahiko, be careful tomorrow. The boss won't even send you off when he leaves. Maybe he will be demoted tomorrow because he entered the office with his left foot. Kiyochi teased seriously, but unfortunately. Such a joke, probably only he himself can understand. Hey, no. Kiyochi, you dismissed the leader of Hanzo, there should be other things to talk about? Yahiko knows Kiyochi. It's not an ordinary thing, he won't be so direct. Some things, it's better for Hanzo not to be there, after all, it's between us. Nagato, your Rinnegan will put a certain load on your body, right? Um. Nagato nodded slightly. He pondered for a moment, then said, I thought Rinnegan was like that. Let me give you an example. Do you know why Hayuga set curse mark, caged bird? After Kiyochi finished speaking, he looked at Yahiko. Nagato probably doesn't know. Before Yahiko died, this guy really kept his ears to the outside world. He only did what Yahiko and Conan wanted to do, and he didn't even have his own pursuit. He probably didn't want to know about this kind of information. Yahiko is different. How can the head of the family not read the information? Yahiko laughed dryly and said, Well, because the threshold for transplantation is relatively low, right? He is sure. But, he felt that it was not very good to study the families of his friends and teachers in the village, so he felt a little guilty. It's no secret, yes, it's because the threshold for transplantation is low. Rinnegan was only available in Sage of Six Paths before. The threshold for this kind of thing is definitely not low. Makes sense. Yahiko nodded slightly. But then, looking at Kiyochi, he asked in surprise, is there anything you can do to improve? Yes, as I mentioned before, it is related to the special constitution of that creature. Transplanting that kind of cells may reduce the load to a certain extent. Transplant cells? Nagato thought for a while and said, Is there any problem? Rinnegan, it should be more than the ability to manipulate repulsion and suction, right? It is the power of the Sage of Six Paths, and it should have a deeper ability. Kiyochi said, I don't know, but I have been practicing recently, and my control over it has gradually deepened, and the load it brings has become stronger and stronger. I can only vaguely feel that I can summon something terrible. Is this kind of thing the reason why the other party transplanted it to Nagato? Yahiko looked quickly at Kiyochi. Of course Kiyochi knows it's the ghetto statue, but can't say yet. He pondered for a moment. Maybe, but if the eyes belong to Madara and he has Shodai's cells, he should use it with a much lower load. I think. Is it possible that he has already summoned this kind of thing? Has summoning come out? Nagato froze for a moment. This, it's really not impossible. 
Certainly. The premise of these is that Rinnegan really belongs to Uchiha Madara, he is just a second-hand user. But, in this case, what is the reason for Madara's eye transplant? Is there a deeper technique? Nagato was lost in thought. The deeper technique, I don't know about it. Maybe my current ability is not enough to use that kind of technique. As for the load, I feel like summoning a golem, I might even die. Nagato said. Yahiko looked at Kyochi, will die? If it is other taboo ninjutsu, the death of the user is not unexpected, but for things like summoning, generally no matter how heavy the load and backlash are, it will not harm itself. Could it be? Is this thing really not Nagato's? Yahiko was just in case before, but now he already feels that there is a very high probability, even. Almost certainly. But, this kind of speculation is really absurd. Who would have thought that the eyes that belonged to him since he was a child might come from someone else? The atmosphere was silent for a moment. Nagato thought for a while, and then said, Kyochi, you mentioned cell transplantation, do you want to use cell transplantation to reduce the load on my eyes, summoning that thing? It's really a pleasure chatting with you, I don't need to say more. Yes, that's it. According to the normal age, Madara is already very old, and even due to frequent fighting, it is reasonable to say that she has already been buried in the ground. Are you doubting that Madara's ability to survive until now has something to do with this kind of summoning? If you think this way, we will come out of summoning. Yahiko's eyes lit up and she understood what Kyochi meant. Nagato thought about it. Kyochi quickly said, but the premise is that summoning has no cost. If the cost is high, there is no need for this method. The next best thing is that I need you to use the induction of summoning to help me find its location. It should be easier to find the position, but if the opponent is really moderate, there may be countermeasures. Yahiko said. But, he has to admit that Kyochi's plan is already the best situation at present, taking into account all aspects, it will basically not let Nagato fall into crisis. He felt relieved a lot. At this time, Jiraiya and Conan also finished chatting. He mainly talked with Conan about the recent situation of Rain Shinobi Village. Regarding the matter of Nagato, it was just an exchange of opinions between the two, and more of them were exhortations and explanations. Doesn't seem to work. Actually, if Jiraiya hadn't come, Nagato wouldn't have made up his mind so quickly, and the symbolism of Jiraiya was complicated for them. He represents the kindness of Konoha. In the most critical and hostile situation, Jiraiya is still willing to stay and teach them ninjutsu and survival skills so that they can survive the chaotic world. So, with the arrival of Jiraiya, at least Nagato will be much less psychologically prepared. Certainly. On the other hand, Kyochi's help to them over the years is also visible to the naked eye, especially the great changes in Rain Shinobi village now, which makes him look forward to and wonder what kind of place Konoha is. This is also key. After talking about the business, Conan also brought the food. Originally, there were only the three of them, so I temporarily added some dishes and cooked some noodles. The five of them ate together and didn't speak for a while. Although Nagato accepted the suggestion to go to Konoha, Conan and Yahiko still feel uncomfortable as parting is approaching. This go. It's not the same as the previous day or two. Before Madara's matter is settled, no one knows how long Nagato will stay in Konoha, it may be a day or two, a month or two, or it may be a year or two or even longer. After dinner, Kyochi and Jiraiya came out from the house and gave Nagato a space to chat alone, while he and Jiraiya stood on a high place outside, overlooking the entire Rain Shinobi village. What a big change. The last time I passed by, it still looked dilapidated, and there were very few people. It was far less than it is now. It has become like this in less than a year. Jiraiya was deeply moved. After chatting with Conan, he immediately understood the source of the changes in Rain Shinobi village, so after sighing for a while, he looked sideways at Kyochi and said, how did you come up with these plans? Balance, wealth, and in fact, the lifeblood of these ninja villages is actually in our hands now. Although they also have the possibility of self-development, their efficiency and ability are incomparable to ours. Kyochi whispered. Jiraiya froze for a moment, then looked at Rain Shinobi village, and understood what Kyochi meant. He saw signs of prosperity, but, I didn't see that under the surface, it was actually the shadow of Konoha. It can be said that the Shaonin village alliance seems to be independent, but in fact it is closely related to Konoha. Because they just built the ninja system now, and they don't have many core things, in the future, they will have the ability of such a system. Konoha is more advanced. As long as he can keep improving, Konoha will always be at the top of the ninja world. Jiraiya didn't think it would be okay, although still fighting. But relatively speaking, direct war was avoided. Certainly. Even with this model, wars cannot be avoided in the future. No one wants to see Konoha always strong, but. Correspondingly, 
the cycle will become longer and longer, and in many cases, direct use of force will not be used to fight wars, and it may be achieved through some economic, technological, and ninjutsu confrontations. Jiraiya doesn't know much about these things, but he sees a bright future. After a while, Yahiko they came out. Unfortunately, we won't keep Sensei and Kyochi for a longer stay, and Nagato asks for your support. The three bowed deeply. Nagato bowed without saying anything. If you go to Konoha, you can stay at my house. Anyway, there are enough outsiders in my side, and I will introduce you to a clansman in your blood. Kyochi smiled. He still has more trust in Kyochi and Jiraiya, and it might not be the case if it is someone else. They catch up again and say goodbye to each other. Kyochi takes Nagato and leaves Rain Shinobi Village. There is no need to go to Sanagakure in person, just let Konoha and Rain Shinobi Village send their own people to notify. San Shinobi is different from Rain Shinobi Village. This group of people has different ideas, especially Luo Sha's faction. After going there, everyone probably thinks that Konoha is afraid of them, so there is no need for that. Now Rain Shinobi Village and Kirigakure are all together with Konoha, besides joining together, what other options do they have? But, when going back, Kyochi made a special trip back to Konoha from the northern side of Kawano country. The northern part of Kawano Kuni is obviously much better than before. Although there are still wandering ninjas and bandits, there are not so many, and traces of Konoha caravans can be seen in many places. Not only that, the northwest area of the fire country is also much more prosperous than before. The number of businessmen is several times that of before, and many small villages have developed again. Turning around, Jiraiya has a more complete understanding of Kyochi's claim. As for Nagato, have you never been to the land of fire? How do you feel? Well, the weather is beautiful, and it's rare to see such good weather in Rain Shinobi Village. It's true that Nagato rarely comes out of Rain Shinobi Village, especially after following Hanzo. Although Hanzo basically cares about them, they will help answer any questions they have, and all kinds of support are in place, which is basically responsive. But, it is true that Nagato has basically never received the mission to go out. On the one hand, it is because Nagato's communication skills are relatively poor, leading the team alone may be difficult in some aspects, and on the other hand, it is because of Rinnegan. Even without Kyochi reminding him, he understood what Rinnegan meant. Nagato has no objections. Yahiko is not dead now. He is a very caring person without much opinion, it is difficult to understand everyone's concerns, and he is completely different from later. In fact, this is the first time he has stepped into the land of fire in these years. What a warm sun! Nagato looked at the sky. The sun was a bit dazzling, and his tears flowed down unconsciously, but he still looked at the sky and said in a low voice, When I was young, Yahiko's greatest wish was to make the land of rain no longer cry. It's difficult, but when ninjutsu develops to a certain level, manpower can also conquer the sky. Kyochi comforted. Nagato thought for a while, then nodded slightly and said, I believe this. In the past, our ninjutsu was used to fight and kill people, and we never thought of using it to open up mountains and land. Everyone's use and understanding of ninjutsu is constantly changing. In the ninja world in the future, his use of ninjutsu will no longer be limited to war, but also in various other fields, even the sky. Kyochi pointed to the sky. Jiraiya couldn't help but look at Nagato thoughtfully. Speaking of the sky, there is a legend that the moon was created by the Sage of Six Paths. Coincidentally, Rinnegan happens to have two different spells, repulsion and suction. So, using these two abilities to ultimate, can the moon be created? Jiraiya wondered. He is very curious about Madara's intentions now, but Nagato's mastery of Rinnegan has not yet reached the point of awakening Rinne Tensai, otherwise everyone can directly understand what Madara wants to do without much guesswork. After all, no matter how strong ninjutsu is, Madara's own ability is enough to use it, but resurrection is the only thing that can only be done by other people. Along the way, Nagato looked around curiously. Everything in the Land of Fire is very strange and novel to him, especially when he sees that the Land of Fire has filled up some remote fields, as if to make a road. But, the road crosses the mountains. How can any businessman go to such a place? But, he doesn't understand merchants, let alone roads, so he just looked around and didn't ask what happened to Kyochi. Until he saw many migrating people, they are? Oh, they used to live in dangerous and remote mountain villages. We encourage them to come out of the mountains and settle around Konoha. Certainly, it is where the railway passes. This is the first case of demolition in the ninja world. When Kyochi proposed this plan before, some people in the village did not agree with it, but then Tsunade and Kyochi fought against all opinions and decided on this plan in a daze. Konoha now requires population. 
As food production increases and the population increases, their ninjas will increase. No matter in terms of war or improving people's livelihood, the increase in population has great benefits, and those people will only see their little loss in paid land. Actually, land is for use. Konoha's caravan is making a lot of money outside, and there is no shortage of money at all. Where does it need to replace resources with land? Although Nagato didn't quite understand what the demolition matter was about, he knew Kiyochi's purpose for doing this. After all, for a while, Rain Country faced a similar situation. There are resources, no one, the difference is. Konoha did this because she was too powerful, of course, it could also be because. This strange road. Nagato thought to himself, and he followed silently. After arriving here, Konoha is actually not far away. With their footsteps, they can return to the village in less than half a day at most. It's still useless flying Thunder God. If Kiyochi had used flying Thunder God, he could have taken Nagato and Jiraiya back to the village at this point, but he chose not to do that. On the way back to the village, there are many things for Nagato to see. Such as migration. For example, outside Ninja Village, a building under construction. He could see that Nagato may have been exposed to some work in Rain Shinobi Village, but most of the time he was practicing behind closed doors, and he didn't pay much attention to these things. Nagato came all the way, finally saw the Konoha Gate, looked up and saw the striking Uzumaki symbol. How do you feel? Jiraiya asked with a smile. What? The village, it feels much neater than our Rain Shinobi Village, but it's also because the weather in the Land of Rain is bad, so each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Nagato answered smoothly. No, I mean, the Uzumaki mark, this is the family mark of the Uzumaki clan, every Konoha shinobi will be engraved on the ninja vest, symbolizing the friendship between Konoha and the Uzumaki clan. Jiraiya said. Nagato remained silent and did not continue. Kiyochi was speechless, Jiraiya, this guy, can also pour chicken soup, and he is still embarrassed. This thing works. Nagato would not want to destroy the ninja world in the anime. Let's go to the village to rest today. You don't have to worry about other things. Now the village can't be said to be my decision, but at least no one dares to do it secretly. Ahem, that's right. That. Jiraiya, go and register for me first, Nagato, I'll take him in directly instead of going through the main entrance. Also. Jiraiya coughed lightly, knowing that what she wanted to say had been guessed. He originally wanted to bring Minato and the others to meet him, to get to know each other positively, but was interrupted by Kiyochi. Now Kiyochi meant that he obviously felt that it was not the right time. Two. Nagato and Konoha seem to have a grudge. Although the revenge is calculated carefully now, it may be stacked on Madara's head, but there is no real hammer controlled by Madara. Certainly. These are small things, the key is. Nagato's personality is relatively introverted, and he was introduced by a bunch of people, I'm afraid he has to be completely autistic. Rao is so. After Flying Thunder God arrived at Kiyochi's house, he was still embarrassed. The old society was terrified. Don't worry. There are not many people in my family. Master Kiyochi, do you need something to eat for you and your friends? Cough. Okay, we just happened to be on our way and didn't eat anything, please trouble Geely sauce. Kiyochi was a little embarrassed. As soon as he said there were not many people, Geely came, which was really timely. This girl. Perception is getting stronger and stronger. Is she of the Uzumaki clan? asked Nagato. I met her in the country of grass. Her body has the ability to heal others. When I met her, Kusanagi village was about to arrest her and take her to the hospital. Kiyochi said something simply. Nagato remained silent. As a small ninja village, he knew exactly what this meant. Die. Maybe not once, but sooner or later, she would die in the hospital. Fortunately, I met Kiyochi. Although Nagato has no direct contact with Uzumaki, his blood and red hair make him feel familiar with Uzumaki. And this encounter, it made Nagato feel more sympathetic. He thought of what had happened to the Uzumaki family and his mother, and couldn't help but be silent for a moment, then began to chatter. When I was young, my mother would be very painful when mentioning Uzushio village. She would always mention how beautiful life in Uzushio village is, but to be honest, I didn't have deep feelings about those at first. Normal. Kiyochi nodded slightly. If you haven't experienced war and the destruction of your homeland, you can't understand the pain with empathy. Including himself. A lot of enmity cannot be resolved with a few words. If you don't know the suffering of others, don't persuade them to be magnanimous. Therefore, Kiyochi never persuaded Nagato to let go or look away, and he also scoffed at Jiraiya's set of chicken soup and disagreed. Outsiders simply don't understand the suffering that the Uzumaki family has experienced. Nagato doesn't really have a sense of belonging to Uzumaki and the bloodline. He just sympathized with Uzumaki Ori, at least. 
After losing his home, he met reliable companions and teachers like Yahiko, Konan, and Jiraiya, and if Uzumaki Ori hadn't met Kyochi, he might have already embarked on a mortal fate by now. The Uzumaki clan, there are many of them. Although I don't agree with the teacher's words, but ideally, Konoha has indeed done what he can do, but it may not be good enough in the eyes of the Uzumaki people, after all. Nagato was silent for a moment when he said this. About a year before the war broke out, Konoha took Uzumaki Kashina away. They didn't think it was a big deal before, but after the war broke out, the escaped and surviving clansmen felt that Konoha probably got the wind in advance. This is also the source of suspicion among many Uzumaki people. Kiyochi didn't explain. For this kind of thing, the parties involved are already dead, Danzo is not even worthy of the heroic monument, and the explanation is pale, not to mention that Nagato has no intention of pursuing those. He was just answering what Jiraiya said before. Let's go, there are only three of us at home now, don't worry. Before Kiyochi said this, I also specially checked with my senses to confirm that Shizun is not there, so as to avoid Shizun jumping out and slapping me in the face just after speaking. Nagato nodded slightly. Social fear is a thing, as long as he finds some common ground, his words will slowly start to increase. The same goes for Nagato. After learning about Geely's experience and origin, he was not so unfamiliar with Geely in an instant, and even took the initiative to say hello after he went out. Hi, my name is Nagato. Mr. Nagato, my name is Ori. Ori bowed slightly, and then, her eyes were drawn to Nagato's hair. Same redhead. The Uzumaki clan. She remembered that when Kyochi rescued her before, he said that he knew a descendant of Uzumaki outside the village, and it seemed to be Nagato. Shall we hold hands? No, no, my side is almost ready, just sit with Nagato over there. Geely quickly waved his hand. Kyochi didn't refuse, after all, he's good at cooking. It can't be said that I don't understand it at all, I can only say that it can be eaten after making it, and it's not good at work. So, if you really go to help, maybe it will still add trouble to Geely. He took Nagato back to the living room. You live here recently, I will give you a pair of glasses to cover up Rinnegan's pattern, and you use Konoha's clothes and forehead protector as a cover in Konoha to avoid accidents. Um. Nagato nodded slightly. Since he has come to Konoha, he has made these psychological preparations, otherwise a ninja wearing a rain shinobi forehead protector will know something is wrong at Konoha. In this respect, neither Kyochi nor Jiraiya intend to imprison him. He felt fine. Originally, I was worried that after Konoha, he would be imprisoned in disguise, and he would not be allowed to go anywhere. As captain of Anbu, Kyochi has some minor privileges. Not long. He got a vest and a forehead protector suitable for Nagato, and asked Nagato to change into this outfit. Except for the hair, there are basically no problems in other aspects. As for the hair. Like Geely, transformation technique is on the tube. After putting it on, Nagato was still a little stiff but after using the transformation technique, he felt much better in an instant. After a meal, everyone got to know each other a lot, and started chatting with each other. Kyochi also participated, but the main thing was to find an intermediate topic for Nagato and Ori, so as to avoid the silence of the atmosphere. Afterwards, he was basically not used anymore. The two chatted about the situation of the Uzumaki clan, and couldn't stop at all, so they didn't need his help. Nagato even gave Orori some pointers on ninjutsu. Anyway. It seems that the problem of social terror has been temporarily solved. Nagato's residence is arranged on the other side, next door to Kyochi, and not in the same place as Tsunade and the others. After eating and taking a bath, Kyochi originally thought about letting Nagato rest for a while. However, a snake came up. Orochimaru's clone. Kyochi kun, is Nagato coming? I can feel this strange and powerful chakra, can you? Cannot. Kyochi flatly refused. If you want to study Rinnegan, there is no door. Not to mention that he and Jiraiya agreed to Yahiko and the others. With regard to the characteristics of Rinnegan, the research can't be used to study flowers, and there is no other use except wasting time, energy and resources. That's Rinnegan, aren't you curious? Orochimaru was anxious and angry. This guy. Rinnegan is the legendary eye of the Sage of Six Paths. What a great opportunity. That's it, Rinnegan is not something that ordinary people can use, it's a huge burden on the human body but the transplant experiment Nagato himself agreed, but there is one thing. Understood, don't be too impatient, the snake letter licked it. He was really curious about the physique of the Uzumaki clan. Certainly. Most importantly, Rinnegan. Although it is impossible to study Rinnegan directly, according to the body data, it can reflect some situations of Rinnegan from the side, and can verify some conjectures of Kyochi and Orochimaru. Is Rinnegan really Nagato's own? If it wasn't Nagato's, 
then Kiyochi's guess is probably right. It belongs to Madara. So, that's interesting. How the hell did Madara get Rinnegan? This is also a very interesting subject, and Orochimaru now has some preliminary conjectures. Rinnegan and Sharingan may have a very crucial connection. And this connection. Maybe it has something to do with Senju Hashirama's sage body. Then tomorrow. It will take two days. Nagato's mood is unstable at the moment, which may affect his state. Don't be impatient. Now Madara is definitely more anxious than us. I have to arrange some things first. Kiyochi explained. The reason why he had to delay, on the one hand, was to take into account Nagato's ideas, and on the other hand, it was to deploy a defense system so that the white Zetsu invasion would not be discovered. Okay, hurry up. Orochimaru wished he could stay at Kiyochi's house, even in the yard, at least to observe what was going on with Nagato. But alas, he is willing, Kiyochi is not yet willing. There are three female relatives in the family, what's wrong with being forced to stay in the yard? Put it here cuz Jiraiya. Nagato had sensed it, but he didn't care either. As Kiyochi said, Tsunade and Kiyochi have the biggest right to speak about Konoha now. If they want to do something to him, it must be from Kiyochi and Tsunade. However, neither of them meant that. Tsunade came back in the afternoon and met Nagato, but they just greeted each other and didn't talk much, even after eating. Tsunade didn't specifically talk to Nagato about anything either. She could see that Nagato was on guard. As for Kiyochi, Tsunade also didn't come to talk too much. Kiyochi is very busy these two days. Even though Konoha has done a lot of research on White Zetsu, so far, only Kiyochi can see White Zetsu's movements in advance. Nagato didn't come before, so there is no need to worry so much. But. The troublesome Nagato was brought to Konoha, whether it is for Nagato or for everyone in Konoha, Kiyochi has to put his energy into arranging defenses these two days. But. On the second day, someone other than Tsunade came to the door. Uchiha Rice Fire. Anahiro is now a member of Anbu, and belongs to the bridge between Konoha and Uchiha. For normal people, this identity would make him very embarrassed, but fortunately, Anahiro has Shisui to mediate and provide advice. Until now, his standing among Uchiha's younger generation remains strong. Generally speaking, Inahura would not come to Kiyochi by himself, but would only ask for solutions through Shisui, but this time he came to Kiyochi directly through Anbu channel. Grown-ups, is there something wrong with your family? Kiyochi rubbed his temples. His chakra is consumed a lot, and he really doesn't want to do it in a short time. If Uchiha wants to die, he can only let others deal with it. Well, that's not true, of course. Dot you can say it is. Daohuo scratched his head. He wears a mask on his face, which makes it impossible to see his emotions. But. Kiyochi looked at him, and he immediately stood upright, and said, I'm very sorry to disturb you because of some small things, but. In the current Uchiha, although the clansmen are not in turmoil, they are panic-stricken. I feel that something will happen sooner or later. What did Shisui say? He said that it is not suitable to go out and say something now, and wait for the development of the situation, and you will have a way, that's what he said. Daohuo said truthfully. During this time in Anbu, he has greatly improved his opinion of Kyochi, so he is more and more convinced by him. Although I didn't say it, but some rewards for occasional contributions can't be fooled. Kyochi said. Currently the crisis in Uchiha does not originate from the village, but from outside. You should go and see the situation of rebellion, right? Yes, I'm very sorry that I didn't go through your order. It's nothing. Letting you enter Anbu means that I believe that your character and ability are enough to serve as a bridge between us and Uchiha and to communicate well. Kiyochi waved his hand. Actually, Anahiro was able to see Uchiha's traitors, of course it was instructed by him, without Kiyochi's order, he would not even be able to enter the prison door over there let alone see those people. Their eyes should be taken away by each other, but the reason for such torture, I guess, may be to improve the quality of Sharingan, which may involve your Uchiha's secrets, as outsiders, we have no way of knowing. The quality of Sharingan. Daohuo searched for some information in the clan. But. No matter how prestigious he is, he is only among the young people. Information about Sharingan advancement, Mangekyo, etc. are all family secrets. How can he know? That's why Kiyochi didn't ask they know. Maybe not as much as myself, asking is useless, but it can simply change the news from unprovable to confirmed and spreadable. Pointless. However, since Dao Huo asked, he didn't mind mentioning it. I understand. Thank you very much for your guidance, this news. Can I tell the people in the clan? Certainly. Kiyochi nods. Dao Huo bowed deeply to express his gratitude. This is also the reason why he respects Kiyochi very much. Unlike second Hokage, Kiyochi's big stick and sweet dates are given a degree of relaxation, 
and there is no suppression and only a little benefit. And. The benefits are all visible, not a piece of cake. For example, the problem of going to school. Although Uchiha's children have to go to the ninja school to attend classes, their treatment in the ninja school is the same as that of others, and the team is even more comprehensive. Although it lost the control of the guards, but. Their influence in Konoha is on the rise, because there are many Jonin from Uchiha, who are now participating in the task of leading the team, and some are even assigned as outstanding student team leaders. All are treated equally. For Uchiha, that is rare. Although there are some opponents in the clan, Dao Huo has always scoffed at those people and dare not agree with them. After getting Kiyochi's reply, he bid farewell and left immediately. Back to the clan. Anahiro finds Fugaku for the first time. Although Uchiha Fugaku is hesitant, but so far, he is still Uchiha's patriarch, and the patriarch can only be him. Changing people at this time will only increase internal anxiety and anxiety. He explained the situation. Certainly, the method changed. In the mouth of the rice fire, it is no longer Kiyochi who told him, but he got part of the information secretly, and the information did not tell Fugaku all. It's just that Renren was taken away by the enemy for some kind of experiment. Most of the people he saw were missing at least one eye, and one had both eyes gouged out. Besides, he didn't mention the speculation about the higher quality, Sharingan, but after he finished speaking, he paused for a long time before continuing to ask, Master Patriarch, look, what is the other party trying to do? Is it possible that it is the Konoha gang? Do people move their own hands? Not too possible. Fugaku shook his head. After so long, he has realized that the current Uchiha has basically no competition with the Hokage faction represented by Kyochi, and the other side does not need this method at all if they want to mess with them. He pondered for a moment, thinking of the secrets of the clan. Could it be that? Is that guy for making Mangekyo Sharingan? He thought for a while, and said to Daohuo, I see, you don't have to take risks with the news from Anbu, I will go to Kyochi for a showdown. Now the crisis does not come from inside, but from outside, we should unite. Yes. Fugaku knows the priorities in this matter. This is not a conflict between Konoha and Uchiha, but that outsiders are eyeing Uchiha. No matter for his own benefit or whatever, he needs to talk to Kyochi. After all, this is no longer a matter of interests, but a matter of life and death for the family. Until now. Only then did he understand how naive Bai Yu Zibo's idea that they could still survive outside the village was. Can such a big family really gain a foothold in the ninja world? However, the ridiculous thing is that some people in the clan still can't see clearly, and they are arrogant. After Dao Hua left, he entered the secret room, read through Uchiha's crucial classics, and after some guesses, he got up and went to the village. Kiyochi is still monitoring the network underneath the deployment. Except for him, no one can master wood style and sage mode at the same time. In terms of perception, except for professional perception ninjas, no one can achieve his current perception and anti-perception skills. So. The issue of monitoring can only be done by yourself. But the effect is outstanding. Now every move of the village is basically under his supervision, and the price. Just a shadow clone. Although shadow clone will bring intermittent fatigue, Kyochi's own recovery ability is extremely fast, which cannot be compared with Naruto of Nine Tails Jinchuriki, but the long-term load of just a shadow clone is also affordable. The only pity is, if he is in charge of monitoring, it would be inappropriate for him to learn and study ninjutsu. You can't have both fish and bear's paw, Kyochi sighs. But. The good news is that most networks are already built by now. Borrowing the roots of those plants, he easily assimilated them into a part of his sensing eyes, as long as there are plant roots, he can perceive the surrounding conditions. Exactly. White Zetsu's earth style, hidden, also likes to inhabit trees, so these places are also key monitoring objects. Complete these. It's time to take Nagato to Orochimaru's side to participate in the experiment of cell transplantation, otherwise Orochimaru may find him again. Kiyochi got up and went to the yard to find Nagato. He is practicing ninjutsu. Nagato. Huh? Are you leaving? Wait a minute. Nagato tidied up, wiped his face briefly, and then returned to the yard. Kiyochi was also unambiguous. He is now more and more proficient in flying Thunder God, and this distance can be directly teleported without a clone. So. The next moment, he brought Nagato Flying Thunder God to the location of the research institute, where Orochimaru is located. Nagato sensed it for a moment, and then realized that he was no longer inside Konoha. What a convenient and terrifying technique. Such a long-distance teleportation ability can exert a very terrifying effect on the battlefield. Nagato was secretly surprised. Then, he looked around. It's very dark here, obviously in a cave or underground environment. Is this where your research is? Yes, 
I can't tell you the specifics. You just need to know. That kind of biological research can be done here. Let me take you to see that thing first. Kiyochi did an elaborate. There are some things that I still can't explain to Nagato very clearly. He takes Nagato to Orochimaru's laboratory, when entering the door. Orochimaru just happened to be tinkering with the newly arrived white Zetsu, so. After opening the door, Nagato froze for a moment. This guy, he knows it. Sanin, Orochimaru. When I saw the first face when I was a child, I thought this person was very scary, but now I see. Sure enough, he is not a normal person, he was silent for a moment. Obviously, he was the one who handled the experiment. Don't be nervous. Orochimaru's hoarse voice made people feel even more oppressed, but unfortunately he couldn't feel it himself, and thought he was very gentle and amiable now. The atmosphere was momentarily awkward. Look at this kind of thing first. Kiyochi ignored Orochimaru's words and led Nagato to White Zetsu. Nagato stepped forward and watched carefully with Rinnegan. This body. Very special. He was stunned for a moment, and then said, It doesn't seem to be a normal person's physique, Chakra's state is very strange. Well, the source of this kind of thing is Master First Hokage, but at present, I don't quite know how Madara was made, so I have to guess. It may be related to the thing you can summoning next. Kiyochi said. Nagato thought about it, then nodded slightly to express his understanding. This thing is obviously not made by normal means. Its structure is completely out of the scope of what a creature should be. If it is not for feeling the powerful vitality. He even thought it was just a bunch of cellular creations. In order not to worry you, I can show you my own results. Orochimaru's voice was hoarse, he rolled up his sleeves. At this time, the color of his arm is very similar to that of White Zetsu, but there is an obvious gap between the arm and the body, and the color is completely different. After three or four seconds, it seems to be infiltrating, Nagato said. That's right, I did it on purpose. Orochimaru smiled, I hope it can gradually replace the parts outside my core area to maximize my own vitality and physical activity. If I don't need it, I can replace them at any time. Very crazy idea. Nagato didn't know what to say. Orochimaru's thinking has completely regarded the body as a part, which can be replaced and replaced at any time. He couldn't agree more. You don't need to learn from him. This guy is a lunatic. If he has the ability to change his body, he probably would have taken over this thing's body without hesitation. Kiyochi spat casually. Nagato thought about it after hearing it, and felt that it really fits the character revealed by Orochimaru's few words, while Orochimaru fell into deep thought and changed his body. This way of thinking. Your idea is quite interesting. I have considered it before, but there is no specific way. Well, if you use it directly as a body, it will indeed last longer. Orochimaru was thinking seriously. Nagato understood. This guy is a research madman. Body belonging and morality have no meaning in his eyes. With this kind of person, it's easy, but also be careful. Let's start. Where do I start? I recommend getting all four implants first, for the best results. Orochimaru licked his lips. Kiyochi raised his hand. Take your time, it's not us who are anxious now, but Madara, first transplant the right hand, and see how well Nagato's body and cells are in harmony. Although Kiyochi is very clear that Nagato has Uzumaki physique, and maybe even Hashirama cells can be easily accepted, but in terms of Nagato's mental state, it would be too fast to directly transplant limbs. Alright, in fact, transplantation is very simple. You really don't have to be nervous. Let's cut a small wound first. I'll cover the wound with cells later. It won't take five minutes at most. Underground. Madara and Black Zetsu were again relatively silent. Nagato was transferred. In fact, Black Zetsu knew the news a little later than Kiyochi took Nagato away, but the problem is that he really didn't dare to go out and stop it. Kakuzu and Scorpion are the cards he managed to fool before. The results of it. A wave of the country of water directly killed him, and destroyed one of his bases by the way. A bunch of Uchiha's rebellious ninjas were all taken back. Now it is estimated that Konoha is completely alert. It's a sad day. Under the ghetto statue, the atmosphere was deathly silent. Black Zetsu was thinking of countermeasures, but. Not Madara. Ha 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 ha, laughed out loud. Madara's old laughter, echoing in the narrow underground space, confused Black Zetsu, and the Uchiha people next door trembled. This old thing. I'm afraid I'm not crazy. Have you got an idea? Black Zetsu tried to use a tactful tone. If you let him speak directly according to his heart, it must be. What a f asterisk king ass you are. What's so funny? The opponent has hit the door, before it was white Zetsu, then it was the base, now Nagato is gone, then throw ghetto statue, and then. There is nothing to lose, 
When it's time, you know how to laugh. There is only one thought in Black Zetsu's mind. Regret. If I had known that Madara was such a piss, I shouldn't have pinned my hopes on him in the first place. Certainly. This is what Black Zetsu thought in his heart. In fact, when Madara awakened Rinnegan and awakened him with Yin Yang Dun, he had only one choice. Save Madara. So, he was already thinking about how to persuade in advance. However. Don't worry, there is nothing to be afraid of. Although that kid is powerful, I also have some capital at hand. I have been looking forward to it for a long time, and I hope you will let me fight once, otherwise I will destroy Konoha. Crazy. Black Zetsu was speechless, this guy was full of fighting, and now he couldn't listen to any other suggestions, saying anything was useless. Rather than that. It's better to touch the hair and make Madara as strong as possible, or when Madara does it, he finds a way to seize control of Nagato's body and get Rinnegan back. With Rinnegan, White Zetsu, at least he can create an heir to complete the resurrection plan of Rinne Tensai. Otherwise, as far as Kyochi's weird situation is concerned, he really doesn't know much about it. If the kid knows something evilly, his plan to resurrect his mother will be completely lost. Replace your body first. Your current body is too old. Even with a replacement Sharingan, it will be difficult to display its full combat effectiveness. In addition, I suggest sealing some tailed beasts before going. Tail beast? Need it? Madara glanced at him. Although you have cultivated a pair of good eyes, you are not Mangekio Sharingan after all. Even if you can use some strength, you can't fully exert your strength. Tailed beasts can make up for your shortcomings, in addition. Black Zetsu babbled. Madara thought for a while, a few figures flashed in his mind, and finally said lightly, All right, take the Jinchuriki of the tailed beast, and then use the ghetto statue, so that the other party will think that our goal is to collect the power of the tailed beast. Black Zetsu breathed a sigh of relief, he was really afraid of this guy's head. Normally, Madara's mind is still very clear, but he advocates fighting, and he has been staying in the dark underground for so many years, and now he is afraid that there is something wrong with his thinking. The human mind, it's really easy to be influenced. Black Zetsu complained from the bottom of his heart. They don't know what Kyochi is going to do when he brings Nagato back to Konoha, but according to the worst result, it is nothing more than transplanting white Zetsu cells to Nagato. Although it is worthy of fear, but, as long as their backhands are not removed, they still hold the initiative. That's right. Now Black Zetsu has given up on Madara. This forced. If you go out, you must be dead. The experimental results during this period are there. Although there is a pair of eyes that have not reached the Mangekio stage, the pupil power and eye condition are very close to the Mangekio stage. Unfortunately, this guy's love for Big Brother is not enough, and his mentality seems to be a little sick. Originally, according to their plan, they asked him to dig out his big brother's eyes to stimulate him, and then revealed his identity to further stimulate him, but the result. There is a problem with the first ring. After being forced to dig out his own big brother's eyes, his mind gradually perverted, not only did he not regret it, but he gradually convinced himself. In order to survive, big brother will definitely understand him. Such behavior, too filial. Black Zetsu couldn't understand. It can only be said that Indra's blood contains genes that make people laugh out loud. This family is hopeless, and when he completes his plan, he will raise all the descendants of these Yuyas. Madara was oblivious. At this moment, he thought that Black Zetsu was a special clone created by Yin Yang Dun, an extension of his own will and ability, rather than another independent individual. Who will guard against himself? It can be said. Black Zetsu is now the most trusted existence in the world, and no one can shake that even if his younger brother Uchiha Aizuna is revived. Kyochi also understands this. So, he never hoped to defeat Madara with his mouth, something Naruto failed to do. Moreover, convincing others with your mouth is what Naruto has to do. He prefers to be like Senju Hashirama, first beat the other party to the ground with his hands, and then reason with the other party, if the reason does not make sense, send it to others to talk to Madara. Laboratory. Nagato made an incision, and Orochimaru transplanted the tissue. White Zetsu's cells worked great. Those lumps of flesh quickly covered the wound, and it took only a few seconds to blend with the surrounding flesh and blood, and. Very good, very good. It merges with your body, even more harmoniously than mine. There is almost no rejection, and there is no phenomenon of diffusion or swallowing. It is incredible. I recommend getting stronger first generation cells. Orochimaru clicked his tongue. Although the phagocytosis effect of White Zetsu cells is not strong, it is not without it but none of these signs appeared in Nagato, as if these cells had reached a balance with Nagato's body. How do you feel? Kiyochi ignored Orochimaru's comments. Nagato sensed carefully. Subsequently, he said, it feels good, although it is not that adaptable, 
but there are almost no side effects. Where are the eyes? I don't know. Maybe we need to spread it further, um. I'll let them spread and see. Nagato said and began to manipulate Chakra to destroy its own cell activity. He is very smart. Jiraiya valued him, partly because of Nagato's talent, he knew how to control this kind of cells without teaching him. Not for a while. The white area spread, spreading step by step from the back of the hand to the arm, and then further spread to the entire hand. He feels. My vitality is increasing, and my eyes seem to be a little more relaxed. But. The increase is very limited. 